Oh, biggin, 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 biggin. Fish on, fish on. Oh, it's a big one. Heck yeah. Get him, Jay. Oh, baby. Oh, baby, that's not a smallie. That's not a smallie, that's a giant fish. Oh my gosh. Stay on, stay on. Woo, I did not expect this. What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's Cole and Jay and today we have traveled to a crystal clear creek in the Ozark Mountains and we are about to be doing some smallmouth bass fishing. Yeah, I cannot wait to jump in this creek and start chasing after these bass. As you can kind of see behind us, it is beautiful. The water is nice and cold. It's a very hot day here in Arkansas and uh, we're both just very excited to jump in the water. Um, we love fishing this spot. We've caught a lot of good smallmouth here in the past. Um, upwards of three pounds would be mm -hmm. the biggest we're probably going to try to catch today, but who knows, there could be a five pound bass lurking <laughs> in one of these deep pools at any point of the day. Now while this water we're fishing is crystal clear, we're going to be getting some help using our Waterland sunglasses to hopefully, you know, pinpoint some locations where we might be able to find some of these big smallmouth hiding. Next to these big rocks, there's some logs there in the water. Um, these are actually some of the new models. These are the Slaunch series. This is the blue mirror. This is the green mirror. These guys are awesome and they're now in stock at waterland.com. If you guys are interested in trying out a new pair of Waterland glasses for yourself, you can use our code CJ15 at checkout to save 15% off of your order. They also have some cool apparel like some sun shirts. Got some cool little floral hats for the summertime <laughs> that I'm wearing today. Some of y'all made fun of me with, about this hat in the comment section, but I love I it. I like got, it. Got some little parrots on it. Super comfy. <laughs> Um, but besides that, we are excited to get in the water and go try to catch some fish. And we hope you guys are excited to join along with us too on this adventure. So if y'all are, do us a huge favor, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the <laughs> channel so you don't miss out on any of these future wade fishing adventures. You ready to catch some fish? I'm ready. Let's do it. Let's go. is actually pretty low right now so what we're doing is we're hiking downstream we have a nice riffle right here looks like there's a couple of deep pools up ahead we're gonna be trying to target these deeper pools we're thinking it's gonna hold the highest concentration of smallmouth usually where i'm walking at there's water but that's all right because it makes it a little bit easier for us to walk around and navigate this creek um, but also it's going to concentrate those fish into those deeper pools like i just said so we're gonna find ourselves a good spot and start fishing so before we get too far down the creek, I want to show you guys the baits we're going to be throwing today to try to catch these smallmouth. So out here in this creek, the main prey species for the smallmouth to eat are going to be little bait fish, like little shiners, little suckers, and also there are going to be some crawfish and some other little baits on the bottom, like helgramites. So Jay and I have a two-pronged approach we're going to be using today to try to catch these fish. I'm going to start by throwing this little finesse jerk bait right here. This is a Rapala Ripstop. Uh, it's just a little flashy shiner kind of chrome color. I'm throwing it on a six cents unicorn rod, it's a seven foot two inch medium light. Got a 2500 size Shimano reel with 10 pound braid to an eight pound fluorocarbon leader. And then on Jay's rig, we've got this guy right here. Another one of our favorites, just a little shaky head. The plastic is a Tackle HD HD Helgramite. It's five inches long and you can see it looks just like a little Helgramite. A lot of guys out here throw a little four inch and five inch finesse worms, but this kind of gives them a little bit of a different look and it matches a little bit more of the native forage out here. I mean, you're more likely to see a Helgramite in here than a worm. <laughs> anyway, it's green pumpkin, and, green pumpkin in color, same sort of deal. Seven foot three inch medium, six inch divine rod, 2500 size Shimano reel, 10 pound braid, and an eight pound fluorocarbon leader. And I think that's an eighth ounce screw lock shaky head jig head. So if these two baits don't work, I got a pack full of other baits and there's some more different types of worms, some craws, some more crank baits, and we're gonna throw everything at them until we figure out what they want to eat. Anyways, we're excited to get going. Let's start moving down the creek and uh, let's see if we can find some fish. On there, on there, that was instant. Heck yeah. Oh there's, oh, oh, there's big ones. Oh my gosh, there's big ones. Oh, there's so many. oh my gosh, there's so many fish in this little pocket right here. All right. Okay, there's more here. Nice fish, Jay. That happened really quick. So we got this little run right here. It's really shallow, but there was this little backwater hole. I said, Jay, throw up in there real quick. It might be a fish. It looks super juicy, and super it, fishy. And as soon as it hit the water, that fish was on it and it had buddies following yeah, it. There's so. like four more in there. Yeah, so I guess let's release this one and let's throw in there so we can catch one of his buddies. They look to be bigger than this one, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Look at him though, he's like yellow. Yeah. What a cool fish. Beautiful smallmouth. Way to kick off the day, Jay. Woohoo! Finally! <laughs> Ooh, see Whoa. ya, buddy. Feisty. Is 
Got him, got him, I have a sick. Oh, there's another one with him. Woo, there's like three fish with him. Get up here, that's a good one. Yeah, buddy, let's go. There's my first smallmouth of the day, just a little bit down the creek from where Jay caught her first. So I caught him in this little run right here, throwing this little uh, jerk bait. And he's probably about a 14 inch or so, but what's weird is that, let me get this unhooked real quick, is it looks like there's another hook down in him. I can't know if we can see it or not, but definitely some line coming out of his mouth. Oh, Do you see that? Yeah. I can see the hook down in there, but I don't think I'm gonna try to get it out. It, just looks, like, it looks like a little bait holder hook, like somebody hooked him on live bait. But I mean, if the fish was able to come out and eat my jerk bait, he's probably gonna be okay even though I hate that that hook is down in there. But what we can do is we can clip that line a little bit shorter just so it's not dangling out of his mouth. Okay, so we're gonna take our scissors. We're just gonna go in here, cut that line really short. Didn't do a whole lot. We got about four or five inches of line out of him. But anyways, that should help him out a little bit. Nice, beautiful smallmouth bass. So beautiful. Let's see if we can catch one double this size before the trip's over, Jay. Yeah. All right, let's send it back. <laughs> <laughs> right back where we caught him at, back in that ripple. That's awesome. Let's so get back cool. after and catch some more. Oh, biggin, 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 in the current, in the current. Stay on, stay on. Oh, it's a nice one. Stay on, baby. Stay on, baby. Oh gosh, get out of that current. Get over here, I'm gonna turn you. Turn this way, turn this way, turn this way, buddy. I'm coming to you. <laughs> yeah look at that one fellas that's a nice one that's a long one long and skinny nice there we go we're getting a little bit bigger we moved down about another 20 yards or so it's probably getting close to 16 inches but look how long and skinny he is i know that's crazy beautiful fish got that little finesse jerk bait in his face man that guy put up an awesome fight in the current i don't know if you can tell or not but look at this right here i'm missing a hook point <laughs> on that top treble so that's not gonna help us out any. I don't have any spare hooks, so hopefully that doesn't cost us later on in the trip. Anyways, nice Molly, let's get him unhooked and get him back in the water. Right, guys we've done a lot of walking since we last caught a fish we've actually passed the point where we were planning on actually stopping the weight fishing adventure and start walking back but we honestly just haven't caught much we've no. only caught how many fish like three, three smallmouth um it's been tough it's been brutal i think it really has a lot to do with how low the creek is it's a lot lower than we actually thought at first yeah. and there's really not that many deep holes the fish we have caught so far have been in shallow riffles shallow runs kind of like what we have right here behind us so we decided that we were gonna walk the extra couple of miles downstream and try to find a few more fish in some of these runs and see if there's some fish down here in some of these deeper holes. Maybe there's more rocks in the bottom. Yeah. But it's been tough. It feels great out here though. And uh, if we don't catch any fish, then we might just have to go swimming or something. Yeah, it feels great <laughs> in the water. It's super hot out here today. <laughs> yeah, it's been really hot the last like week, week and a half or so. Um, back at our place, there's nowhere really good to go swimming at. It's just been hot and humid. We're not going to jump in the lake we live on. It's super stinky and slimy. So it's just refreshing to be out here. And it's beautiful scenery. There's tons yeah. of butterflies, tons of plants, tons of neat rock features. And, you know, we're just happy to be out here. But hopefully we can make this trip even better by walking down a little bit further and hopefully linking up with a few more smallmouth and hopefully a bigger one. Like yeah. one, like two and a half, three pounds. That, that one I caught was pretty good. Yeah. But we want something bigger. I want a big one. Big one. Real big one. We're never satisfied <laughs> out here. So let's put the camera up. Let's keep trekking downstairs. Let's see if we can catch some more. Oh, got him, got him, got him, got him, got him. That's a pretty decent one. Pretty decent one, pretty decent one. That's what's up. That's what's up. We just had to do a little midday update on him. Oh, there's two. He's trying to get the bottom hook. Do I have two on there? No, it's just one. He's dark as crap. Get on the bank. Get on the bank. Let's go. Whoa, Whoa there was another one. Dang it. The bigger ones are always following. Look at how dark that one is, guys. That is a beautiful smallmouth. Not a bad one, not super big, but I will take it. It's been a struggle for the last like hour and a half or so. But I think we finally gotten some more good water where these fish are gonna be hanging out at. Nice, another victim of the little jerk bait. Let's send him back. Nice. A 
There we go. Oh gosh, he's bigger than I thought he was. Woo, ho, ho, look at those boils he's making. He doesn't look that big in the water until he comes up and he's nice. It's a nice one. He's just kind of hooked on the side of the head too. Causing the fight a little bit harder. Get, oh my gosh. What a smallie. What a smallie, get up here. What you think about that one, Jay? That's a nice one. Not <laughs> that a bad fish. Crazy. They've all been about the same size. You know, anywhere between like 13 to 15 inches or so. Not a bad one though. He smoked that jerk bait. <laughs> yeah, he did. They're all about it. We just did a little change up. Jay's been throwing that shake head for a while. She's gonna throw a little wacky rig now. We're in some pretty shallow water. That's why I think the shake, I think the, and I think that's why this jerk bait is getting bit a little bit better. There it is. Just a little weighted wacky rig. Anyways, nice fish. Let's send him back. Get a little underwater shot. We'll see you later, guys. Whoa. <laughs> nice. Spicy. Fish on, fish on. Oh, it's a big one. Oh heck yeah. What the heck? Get him, Jay. Get him, Jay. Get him, Jay. Get him, Jay. You got him? Heck yeah. Woo! Finally, I was wondering if I was gonna catch another fish on this trip or not. Dang, that one fought really crazy. I know he's like three times as big as the first one you caught. I think that's the biggest one of the day too. Is it? He's pretty close to it. Woo maybe, maybe the same size as the one I caught, but that is a beautiful bronze smallmouth bass. Yeah, it was definitely a good idea to do the bait change. Yeah, I swapped it to that little uh, wacky rig in the shallow water. Dude came unglued for it. <laughs> that is so sick. Alright, we're gonna send this guy back. See you later, buddy. Thank you for the fight. Hey, That's put her awesome. put her there. <laughs> Let's get some more. <laughs> Jay's hooked up again. Let's see that guy. Oh, that's not like the one you last caught. <laughs> He is but, cute though. All right, there is my third smallmouth, my smallest one of the day, but that's okay. It's another fish and I'm happy to have caught it. Yep. <laughs> we'll let him go and he'll grow up to be a monster five pound smallmouth one day. Yes, you will. In like 30 years. <laughs> Do big things, buddy. <laughs> it's a shame these fish here don't grow as fast as they do up north. Yeah. I mean, like a, th like a three pound smallmouth in this creek is going to be like 20 years old probably. It's that's crazy. crazy. That's why you really have to protect the resources here in these Ozark streams. I want to do a lot of catch and release on these smallmouth. Oh, get it, get it, get it, got him. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it amazes me every time I hook up one of these little longer sunfish on these tiny jerk baits. I can only imagine if this treble hook was a feather treble, I feel like I would probably catch one almost every cast. They're like always following it in, always trying to get a piece of it. That one's not as colored up as some of the ones we've caught today, but still a really cool fish. Peace. Oh, poor guy. Hey, we got one. <laughs> Little guy. <laughs> Bigger than my last one. I think so. You have another decent smallmouth. Not huge, but beautiful nonetheless. We'll see you later. Woo, they all take off the exact same. Golly. Big one. Big and that is a nice one. Stay on there. That is so beautiful watching him fight in that clear water. Look at that fish. There's another big one behind him too. Stay on, buddy. That's my biggest of the day. Biggest of the day. Just snuck up on him. Stay on there, buddy. Stay on there. Oh my gosh, stay on there. That is a good one. Good smallie. Barely hooked too. It's barely hooked. Come on, big guy. Come on, big guy. Come here. Come here, come here, woo, yeah, that is what's up guys. Check out this beautiful smallmouth bass, my biggest of the day so far. I walked up here, and there's this little point, and there was some deep water right here next to it, and I saw him cruising, I threw that jerkbait right there, and he just came unglued on it. There was actually a couple of fish there, and this one just got to it first, and I think he was the biggest of the three, so that's exciting. We've been having some issues with the smaller fish getting to it first, but as you look right there, we just got one hook in him. <laughs> That's that top treble one has two trebles on it. <laughs> really beautiful fish. This is exactly the kind of fish we came here to catch. That's awesome. All right, Colt just caught this fish. It's the biggest one of the day, so it deserves an epic release shot. 
So we're gonna go completely underwater to release this fish. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. I hope that was majestic. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's okay. You look majestic in this clean water. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I was having a hard time keeping my eyes open and smiling. <laughs> hey, I bet it turned out great. Oh my gosh, this water feels so good. I know. You need to go swimming. I know. I might have to take a break from fishing and swim. <laughs> We've got this one last pool right here behind us. It's got a steep bank. It's got some good rocks. We have this nice riffle flowing in. This is going to be the last spot we fish. Hopefully we can catch a couple more, but if not, that was an epic way to wrap up the fishing trip. But I have a feeling we'll probably catch one or two more. Yeah. All right, so I know I just said we were about to go down that way to that deep pool and do some fishing, which we still are, but we decided that this water just feels so good. We're in such a good spot right here that we just needed to take a moment and do some swimming. Swimming break. We hardly ever do any <laughs> actual swimming when we, when we do these wade fishing adventures just because we're trying to, you know, make sure we're catching enough fish for y'all and, you know, all, everything that goes into making a YouTube video. But, you know, we feel like we've caught enough fish. Oh, yeah. That if we don't catch any more, then we're good. So we're just gonna hang out here in this nice pool. There's a lot of little fish swimming around. I wish we had some goggles so we could swim around and really see what's going on. But either way, feels great. We're gonna take a little swim break and then we're gonna go down to that next pool and try to catch a couple of bill smallies. Oh baby, oh baby, that's not a smallie. That's not a smallie, that's a giant fish. That's not a smallie. Oh my gosh, stay on. This is epic, this is epic. <laughs> oh my gosh. Big old fish, stay on baby. Oh my gosh. Stay on, stay on. Oh, I did not expect this. Stay on. Look at this in case it comes off. It, look at this. In case it comes off, it's a giant gar. It's a giant gar. Oh, it's a big old gar. Big old long nosed gar. Oh, I thought he was about to bite me. Stay on, baby. Oh, ho, ho, look at that. He's back out there in the deep. Come on, baby. That's the last thing I expected to catch out here. Holy smokes. Don't die, camera. I got 1% on this GoPro. Look at this. Oh, big, big old gar. Big old gar. Woo hoo hoo. Big old guy. Here we go. Here we go. We're going to the bank. We're going to the bank, buddy. We're almost there. We're almost there. <laughs> this is a monster. It's a monster. Help me, Jay. <laughs> I got a giant gar. <laughs> Big old long nose gar. I was not expecting that. It hit it and I was like, oh my gosh, I got a monster smallie. It's a big old gar. He might freak out some more. Yeah. Here, hold my pole. Hold my pole. I'm gonna try to grab him. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. I ain't never caught a gar out here in this creek before. I've seen a few, but yeah. that's a really nice one. Nice long nose gar. Crunched that jerk bit. I thought I had a giant smallie. Don't do it. Ooh. Trying to get a good grip on him. These guys are so hard to hold on to. They're slimy. They're rough. They will tear you up. Look at the teeth. That guy. That oh, is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I think it'd be awesome if you were brave enough to try to do an underwater release on this guy. What? <laughs> Wouldn't that be cool? That would be cool. I don't know. I could try. That is a cool fish. <laughs> a great way to end the trip. We walked long and far to get to this spot and to catch this fish. But uh, I'm Ooh. proud that we did. But we have a long walk back. So yeah, let's get him back in the water and uh, let's, I guess, make our way up the creek. <laughs> Let's do it, Jay. Hopefully he doesn't turn around and bite me. Ah! Okay, go for it. <gasps> All 
All right, we're giving ourselves a pretty long walk back to the car now, um, but that's all right. You know, walking down to these downstream pools was definitely worth it. We caught some nice smallmouth, and then that last long nose guard at the very end on the jerk bait was epic. That was a lot of fun catching that big guy on light tackle. Anyways, we're gonna make this long, like, I don't know, two and a half, three mile walk back to the car. We'll catch you guys when we get there. that fish yes i saw oh, that thing what? swirl up on it jay's on what? don't lose him don't lose him first blood belongs to jad i swear I, I don't know he's jumping we got to see what lives in this spot oh, it's largies there is some largies here oh, oh don't let him smack you all right well that did not take long at all we literally this was i think maybe my second or third cast mm -hmm. and we've already got a fish so that's that's exciting yep and it's a nice little large mouth not a monster but i have a feeling there's gonna be some bigger ones here oh, to catch yeah. and hopefully we'll run into some smallies or some spotted bass maybe we can get the uh the the bass slam out here in this creek <laughs> today but he smashed this little jerk, jerk bait, bait right here jay always does a lot of good work with that jerk bait in these small creeks and it's just a great option to throw because like i said these fish are mainly feeding on little minnows and crawfish so we usually start with a little jerk bait like that sweet let's get back in the water and let's get back after it see ya fishy he got off there quick <laughs> let's get some more Woo. oh i had one Bite it again. Oh. Oh, yes. I'm on the board. Gotcha. Oh, no. oh my gosh, look at those gar. There's so many gar out there. Wow. Is that Smalley? What is that? It's Largy. There we go. Right after Jay just released hers, I've got my first one of the day. Tiny little largemouth. That was so cool. And got him on the brand new six cents juggle man. Let me look at that guys. Look at that tail action. Like I said, I've got this rigged up on a nose hook and I've got a little Nico weight pushed right here in the belly. And that allows this bait just to fall nice and slow horizontal, but this bait actually swims. It like rocks side to side and that tail with that little ball right there on the end right there, it just causes it to just quiver just super seductively and fish as you can tell in this inaugural fishing trip can't resist it. It's just a supernatural presentation and it's great for these shallow, um, slow or fast moving streams. Well, my time with that, <laughs> that juggle middle didn't last very long. I cast it up across the bank into a bush and I, I pulled it off on the nose hook and then I couldn't find it. So I have uh, since re-rigged up, which is a little four inch wacky worm right here. We're gonna toss it around. There's something in the water right here. What is this? Anyways, I'm gonna toss this little wacky worm around. Jay's still got the jerk bait tied on and um, I may or may not run back to the car and try to find that bag of plastics because they are not in my bag. Oh my gosh, you guys, we're hooked up. Hooked up, hooked up, hooked up, hooked up. I wasn't recording. We got, what is that? Oh my gosh, it's a big freaking smallie. Jay, it's a big smallie. Get up here, get up here. Oh my gosh, look at the size of that smallie. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, guys, what a treat to catch a really quality size small bass from this creek, like just right off the bat. We haven't gone 50 yards down the bank and we have so much more water to cover and that is just a really promising sign of what may come today out here on the river. What a nice fish and he just absolutely clobbered that little weightless little wacky worm. I'd literally just tie that thing on and he swam to it before he even hit the water, I swear. So, so cool. Okay, let's get this guy back into the creek and let's keep on going. I'm really excited now. <laughs> All right, big guy. We'll see you. Go. <laughs> What's he doing? He's taking his time. Oh, there, he, oh, there, there he goes. Oh, he goes. <laughs> <laughs> he was confused for a second. I was like, is there something wrong? Like, we got that fish on the bank so quick. There he goes. He's back in his little pool. Awesome. That's awesome. Let's get some more. Okay, James. I don't know who you are, but I know where you were at. He was fishing the smallmouth hole. Maybe he caught that fish, Jay, and released it for us to catch. 
Or maybe he was just enjoying his time here. It's a really beautiful spot. There's some good looking ripples down there. Hey, you got something? You got something. You got something on there. I was like, I was like, I was like something, I was like, something weird's happening with Jay's bait. Aww. There we go. Third species of the day, the old trusty green sunfish. So pretty. If you can't catch one of these in a creek or river, then there's just no fish there. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> you should just go home. That's a nice one though. Just kind of a little average sized guy. We might catch some bigger ones than that. You never know, but definitely a welcome sight. Oh yeah, it's so more, pretty. It's more fun to catch one of those on a cast than nothing at all. Right. Bye. See ya. I saw a bigger swirl out there. I don't know if that was him. I mean, green sunfish can be pretty dang aggressive. But I feel like there was a bigger fish hanging out there with him. Just hard to say. Oh, I got a fish. Is that another species? Looky there. Racking up the species. Here's our fourth species of the day. Another welcome sight in any creek and river that we fish. A beautiful long-eared sunfish and he had quite the appetite because this worm is literally the same length if not longer hey, he's a little bit shorter but basically the same length as that fish he meant business you see that drum oh digging biggin 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 big that's a big one that's a big one jay that's a big one that's a big bass or something is that a catfish oh my gosh it's, it's a big a fish it's a massive oh bass that's smally small oh my gosh it's a massive smallmouth I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. That's a massive smallie. He's fighting so hard. It's a massive smallie. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What? Flip that thing. Dude, that is a monster smallie. Yeah, baby. That oh is gosh. awesome. I was just saying, I was seeing a dark blob swimming around out there and I thought it was a drum, <laughs> but it might have been this guy. Look at the head on that sucker. Like that is an old yeah. river fish right there. He's, he's so long. Yeah, he smashed that jerk bait. Just watching him just fight in circles. Like I saw him. You really, I got when I saw the flash, and I was like, "Oh my gosh, that thing is massive." He was fighting really hard too. He put up a good fight. Now this is exactly why you go out and explore new creeks and rivers because you just never know. Like I've seen this spot before on a map. That's like it looks pretty good. <laughs> and we got here. It's kind of low, but that doesn't matter. Because these big guys are out here just chomping. Woo! So cool. We got largies and smallies. Is there any spotted bass out here? Ooh, I, I don't know. know. Like that fish was rolling, I thought you had a catfish for a second. I was like, that's a catfish, but it was a giant smolly. I am so stoked right now. It's such a cool fish. All right, one last look at our fish before we send him back. Oh my goodness. If I don't catch another fish today, then I'm okay, because this is this was good enough for me. I have a good feeling you're gonna catch more fish today. What a beautiful fish. All right, send him. What's he gonna do? Go that way. I'm gonna go that way. He said, I don't know, I like you. You're cute. You I can like just you. hold me all day. <laughs> he thinks you're cute, Jay. Oh. He said, you ain't that cute. <laughs> hey, Woo! that was sick. Oh my gosh. Snake, 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 snake. I got him, let's go. Woohoo! This place has got snakes too. <laughs> Oh, he just jumped out of the tree. Woo, all right, check that out. We've got our first water snake of the day, and it is a gorgeous little Midland water snake. He's a little grumpy. He's got some really cool colors. A lot of the recent ones we've been catching have had more of that reddish coloration. This yeah. guy is like purely brown, even his belly. You'll see Ooh, he's got those pretty. cool brown markings. He's a little agitated. You can tell he's got himself flattened out. You can see his head. When they flatten it out, it's kind of arrow shaped. It kind of makes them look like they're venomous, but this is a non-venomous water snake species. And I'm surprised he hasn't actually struck at me yet. He's just kind of chilling. He's interested in the camera, flickering his tongue a little bit. That is really cool. So like I said, this is the Midland water snake. This is a subspecies of the Northern water snake, which y'all might have in your region if you live a little bit north of us in Arkansas. But yeah, really cool snake. Definitely expected to see one of these out here today. Maybe we'll find some more, I don't know, but that's a, oh! Oh gosh, there he is. There oh, he is. No. There he is. There he is. Easy guy. I was about to say it's a really nice find, but he's a little, like I say, he's a little grumpy. We're going to go on ahead and send this guy back and we're going to get back to fishing. My mind is like all dialed up on some big smallies now that we've caught two good ones. <laughs> really cool snake. If we see any more, we'll definitely catch him and show y'all. Ready to go, big dog? Woo! I think he, oh, went, gosh. Oh, he went between your legs. Oh, that felt weird. There he goes. <laughs> That's where he was going, so he knew what he was doing. Awesome, we got some big smallies and we got our first blood uh, of the day. It'll be all right, we'll wash it off in the creek. 
Okay, so we did make another pit stop back up here at the car to grab the pack of juggle minnows that I left behind. Here's the color I was throwing, that minnow juice. And I know I've done pretty good on a little wacky worm, but I really feel like this is the bait that's gonna get the job done today. And I really just wanted to test it out for the first time and see what we can catch on them. So I'll show you guys how I'm rigging it. Rigging it on that same little wacky hook right there. I think it's actually a Nico slash wacky hybrid style hook, but I'm just nose hooking it just like this. Okay, I might could honestly use a one size bigger hook, but that should be fine. And then what I'm doing is I'm reaching in here, grabbing myself out a little Nico weight, and I'm just shoving it right here into the middle of the belly just to give it a little bit of weight. I think it'd be fine without it, but I really want it just to sink horizontally, nice and slow, get that rocking action down on the water. But that's really simple. That's it right there. We're gonna get back down to the creek so we can catch some more smallies. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. That's a good one. Good one. Skip underneath the tree. Is it a smallie? It is a smallie. He's a humpback looking dude. I knew that that juggle minnow would catch him. I skipped up underneath that branch and I threw in there a couple times actually. I kept seeing this fish acting weird about it. And I guess it was this guy, but look at that. He's got some weird scoliosis going on with his back, but that is a fine little river specimen. Let's give him a hook. He's hooked perfectly right in the roof of the mouth. I love this little nose hook system. If you can get if you can get away with it, and you know, fishing around like you know moderate cover, and that's a great way to rig a little small fluke style bait like that. Nice fish. We'll see you. There's one. Gotcha. Is that a bass? He looks kind of yellow, doesn't he? I was about to say we better catch something in this little ditch. Look at that. Good sized green sunfish. Got some bright orange fins. Cool fish. Fish, 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 fish. You guys got a good one, it looks like. That ain't no green sun fish. Or is it? Sure? <laughs> it is. But it's oh a big one. Oh my gosh. We didn't find us a green sun fish hole. <laughs> is that your second green sun fish of the day? I think so, yeah. He's bigger than your last one by like three times. That's I a good like fish. Him. I like him. I love him. <laughs> That's a good one. Oh, oh goodness. Oh, goodness. That, that wasn't very graceful. <laughs> Oh, that's a good one. You got him, JJ. Looks like a nice smallie. Oh, nope, it's a green one. It's a green one. I think he's, yeah, he's side hooked, didn't he, a little bit. He swiped at that thing. Oh, gosh. Here we go. All right, well, that is my second largemouth of the day and my first one in this new spot. Uh, he's not super big, but he's not bad. Yeah, not a bad creek fish whatsoever. And I like this spot a lot. It's a little bit deeper. It's yeah, not, it there's not a whole lot of flowing water, but I think there's a riffle up ahead and we're yeah. excited to get up there and fish it. But that's a pretty guy. I'm gotta just be, happy to be catching fish. <laughs> yep, that'll be a big one one day. Oh yeah. Oh gosh. Feisty. Oh, okay. <laughs> you kind of just drug him in. You had him hook, you had him hook wacky rig style. So <laughs> yeah. he had a lot of energy left. That's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, right up next to this big dead tree. I knew there'd be a good one there. Not to fall in. That's a good large mouth right there. Stay on there. Come on up. Let's go. So if you take a look right behind me, we got this huge lay down tree right here covering up half of the creek. It's where Jay just caught hers on the on the jerk bait. I skipped that juggle minnow right up next to the edge of it. Let it just fall real slowly and this guy gobbled it up. That's a pretty nice large mouth. We've seen some big larges in the creek today that are probably like, two or three times bigger than this one. But I think that's my biggest one I've caught so far. Really cool fish. And again, a little six inch juggle minnow doing them dirty. <laughs> Let them go. Woo! Fun Good times. Job. What's that? Oh, I got one. 
Look at that tie. Is that spot? It's a spotted bass. We did it. We did it. He may be four inches long, but we did it. Look at there. That is our fifth or sixth species of the day, and that completes our bass slam. Spotted bass do live here. He's so tiny. How did he even get that thing? That's cool. That's cool. I didn't know I had him. Fish on! Is that a bass? I think so. Looks like a bass. Whoa. Looks like you wacky rigged him again. Oh, I did. Nice it's little small. small mouth. All right, there is another small mouth. Definitely my smallest of the day, but that's okay. I have hope that we're going to catch another big one. So we're going to send this guy back and we're going to keep exploring the creek. Oh, gosh. Yeah, we haven't had very many graceful releases today. I'm not doing good today. <laughs> Fish on, fish on, not a bad one. Not a bad one. Swapped it up on him too. Is that a smallie? Oh, we got doubles. We got doubles. Oh, I lost my worm. I gotta get my worm back. Woohoo! What you got? Let me get my worm back. Looky there, guys. We've got our first daily double of the day. Got a decent sized smallie here. She's got a Large mouth. Tiny little large mouth. <laughs> she caught hers on the jerk bait again, and I actually swapped back to the old uh, four-inch mess worm. But I stuck that nail wet I had in the juggle minnow in there, made it an eco rig because we're fishing a little bit deeper water. Epic double release. <laughs> <laughs> nice guys. Look how cool these rock formations are out here in this part of the creek. There's one last little river right there I want to check out before we start walking back. Jay's already started walking back. I'm gonna try to catch one more fish off these rocks. It just looks way too fishy to pass up. I told her I'd be extra quick. That's just the pure angler in me. I just, <laughs> I can't leave a spot that looks really good like this behind without at least making a couple of casts at it. And that's why. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. There's an even bigger one with him too. Yep here. Yes. Oh, I knew it looked good guys. That is not a bad smallmouth bass. <sighs> Ain't that little Nico rig worm? It's just really cool getting to come out here and explore this new area that we've never fished before and uh, actually catch some good fish out of it. This is not a monster, but we've caught some nice ones today and we've caught all three bass species, which I think is just really, really cool. I'll see you. We just got down here in the creek and I got him. Look at this. Look at this giant tadpole. Oh my gosh, that is a big bullfrog tadpole. Look, he's got legs. He's got legs. That is so cute. That's massive. He's like four yeah, he's inches cute. long. Wow, do we have any baits that look like giant tadpoles? <laughs> we can match the hatch for real out here. I saw a bunch of them. That is crazy. There's one sitting right there. They are literally oh, everywhere. Goodness. He's probably like, hey, can you put me back? I'm like, yeah, I got you, bro. I got you, bro. Man, that's how you start the video off, JJ. Big old giant tadpoles, and the creek looks fantastic. So let's go ahead and send our buddy back into the creek. Swim. He's so big, he can't even swim right. <laughs> there he goes. Under a rock. All right. Oh. Well, that's how you get things started. Big old giant tadpole. Hopefully, we'll catch some fish. We got this nice little riffle right here. It doesn't look super deep, but there's probably some smallmouth or some spotted bass or largemouth or something. Jay's starting off by ripping the jerk bait. I'm actually going to start off by throwing this little Ned rig. It's been a long time since I've thrown a straight up Ned rig. Um, but I feel like I feel like I could get the job done today. And I've opted for this bait fish pattern because in the past, whenever we fished here, there's a lot of little shiny bait fish around. And I think that this can definitely help imitate that. And that's why Jay's throwing that jerk bait. Little shiny jerk baits always work in creeks like this. And I'm in the tree. I'm out of the tree. You might need to find something just a little bit deeper. Fish on. Jay's hooked up. First smaller of the day belongs to Jay on the jerk bait. Yeah, baby. 
Oh, there we go. Oh, he's dark. First small of the day belongs to Jay, not a monster, <laughs> but it's definitely a good start and a, definitely a positive sign that we're going to catch some out here today. Oh yeah, we're just getting started. He fought good. Yeah, he did. Got a lot of jumps and he smashed that little jerk bait. They love that little flashy guy here in these creeks and uh, hopefully we'll catch some more, hopefully some bigger ones. All right, fish. We'll see you later. Oh gosh. <sighs> He was ready to go. Let's go. <laughs> There's one. Good one. Good one, Jay. There we go. I'm on the board. He's not that big, but he's a good size. Stay on there. Stay on there. Oh, yeah. Get up her. There we go. I'm on the board with my first smallie of the day. Might be a little bit bigger than Jay's. I'm not sure. Pretty similar in size, but he put up a good fight across the creek. And that is the first fish I caught on an Ed rig in quite some time. I just kind of neglect to throw this bait because it gets hung up a lot in these rocks. But, you know, I felt like just kind of swimming around like Jay's throwing that jerk bait would uh, do the trick. And it sure did on this guy. We <laughs> haven't gone very far down the creek and we've seen some fish swimming around. So hopefully we can get some even bigger than this one. But with that, we will send this guy back in the creek. Look how beautiful he is. I know. He's, He's got gorgeous. a nice little chubby belly. That's perfect. That's exactly what we're after today. All right, thanks for biting, little guy. We will see you later. There's one. You got one? Uh, what is that? Oh, that thing is beautiful. Oh my goodness. Wow, Jay. <laughs> All right, we just made it down here to this really juicy looking pool. Jay fired out there and got a really beautiful long-eared sunfish. Look at that. You wouldn't expect for a little fish like that to eat a jerk bait. But um, he sure did. That I watched is... him eat it too. <laughs> and he is absolutely gorgeous. Look at the colors on that. That is a really vibrant, most likely a male fish. And um, I can see you can catch fish like that all day long. Oh yeah, for Maybe sure. His face. Oh, he's got a little leech on him too. That's crazy. He's got a little leech on his fin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look at that. He's got a leech down there. I mean, I wish I could have a whole fish tank full of fish like that. <laughs> but we'll get him unhooked and get him back in the water. Gotcha. I saw him swim over and eat that thing. Is that a largemouth? Oh, that's a smallie. Whoa, look at there. Oh, what's that jumping? Is that a big bass? I don't know what that is, but here's my second fish of the day. That big pool where Jay caught that long-eared sunfish looked really, really good, but we only caught that little sunfish out of there. But now we're in the pool directly underneath it, and it looks good too. A little bit more current coming through here. But that's a good little smallie, not a monster. But I think it's longer than the last one I caught, but just not quite as fat. But we're gonna send him back here into the weeds. We'll see ya. I swapped up to more of a green pumpkin colored Ned worm to see if that made a difference. Uh, I'm not sure if it really has or not. I didn't get any bites in the pool above, but we did get one right here. So we'll see if we can get some more on it. Oh, there's another one. Next cast. There we go. Oh, he's tugging. Come here, big guy. Big little baby. <laughs> oh, what's going on here? Oh, the line just went underneath the spin. Ah, there we go. Two casts in a row. That's awesome. We might be in a good spot now, Jay. He's kind of a tiny guy, but maybe that swap to the green pumpkin was the move. So we'll send him back in there, see if we can keep building on that. See ya. I was kind of caught off guard catching two fish and two casts, but I mean, this is the kind of spot you're looking for when you're wading these creeks. We got a nice riffle right there. Got some nice chunk rocks and it leads down to a deep pool with some more chunk rocks. So a lot of times you'll catch fish right here in this fast moving water if it's deep enough and you'll keep following it down. You have a break, like right there is a nice little calm spot. There should be one there in theory. And then right down there is some chunk rock and there should be some right there. So we're gonna work this pool all the way through. Hopefully get some more fish. There it is, big one, Jay. That's a big one, that's a big one, JJ. That is a big one. That's a big one. That is a monster for this creek. That is a monster for this creek. Oh my gosh. That's not, oh my gosh. That's not a smallie. That's a walleye. Are you sure? It's a walleye. Get over here, Oh my gosh, it's a walleye. Look out, look out. Okay, I'm out of the way. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm freaking out. Oh my gosh! Get him out of I got him! You what? got a walleye! <laughs> Are you serious? I was not expecting to catch that. No, I thought that fish looked so big. I was like, that's the biggest smallie I've ever seen come out of this creek. <gasps> Whoa! You've got to be kidding me. I am so pumped right now. Oh, oh my gosh! 
much. Wow, how awesome is that, JJ? I know, this. I am just so excited right now. This is definitely the catch of the day. It's gonna be so hard to beat this fish. I know, we were definitely not expecting <laughs> to catch walleye. I knew, although I knew that it would be a possibility we could tango with some walleye today, I just didn't really think that it would happen. You know, this is more of a creek that you would catch them in like late winter, early spring when they're in here spawning, but what, whoa, how cool is that though? He's a good one too. Yeah, he is. I'm really bummed that we're gonna have to let him go. I know. I wish these had... fish are so tasty. I know. We don't have anything on us that we could keep him with, and we're still gonna hike Ooh. some more downstream, but he's looking pretty agile. He's doing pretty good. But he's oh, like gosh. A, oh gosh. He's ready to go. He's ready to go, but yeah, he's a good sized fish, probably like 20 to 22 inches, I'd say. And I'd say that's, I guess that's your second biggest one you caught, right? Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, he's feisty, so I'm let's put him play. in the water. Yeah, let's see what he does from here. Hang on. Oh, oh gosh. You ready? Let's get one last look at him. Pull my side. Oh yeah, beautiful, beautiful walleye. That what a stunning fish. It's been a long time since either one of us caught a walleye I too. Know. All right, Jade, do you have any final words for your fish before you send them off? Thank you, fish, for making my day. You are so <laughs> cool. All right, be free, buddy. Go, go, go. Oh, he's slow. He fought really slow too. You know, he fought really slow. Where's he at? There he goes. You just kind of see him right there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Congrats on that awesome <laughs> fish catch. Oh, hooked up. I heard your drag kind of loose. I was like, I'm gonna tighten that up really quick. Woo! That fish said, I don't care how loose the drag is. <laughs> yeah. I don't like dealing with treble hooks. <laughs> I know, especially with these spicy smallies. You never know when they're gonna shake. And those hooks on that bait, we replaced them with some pretty sharp ones. But that's a nice little fish. Not a monster, but still a good one. And hopefully, I have hope. I have hope that I we'll catch a big one. We might even catch another walleye. You never know. You never know. Oh, he's got something in his mouth. What's that? Oh! <gasps> No way, what's what he? It? He's got like a frog coming out of his mouth. What? Let me see. No joke. Oh my gosh! He's got a frog coming he out of his does. mouth. Oh snap, he's got a frog. It's a baby bullfrog. That's insane. Can y'all see that? I'm not sure if y'all can see that or not, but he's got a frog right there in his mouth. That's cool. Hopefully he doesn't spit it up. Well, I'll just toss it back in for you. See ya! That is one hungry fishy. I know. <laughs> his mouth is completely filled up with a bullfrog. <laughs> I just felt a tiny little bite. I don't think it's a smallie. It was so small. There's no way it's a small mouth. Is he even hooked? <laughs> He's hooked. I got myself my first long eared sunfish of the day. I just felt the tiniest little tick at the end of my cast. And that guy slurped <laughs> this Ned Watch it come out of his mouth. Woo! <laughs> oh man, I think he bit off way more than he could chew, but at least I was able to hook up with him. Cool little fish. Not what I'm after. I'm after big smallies and walleye now. Stay on there. He's swimming so fast. Did you see how fast that fish took off? <laughs> Golly. Oh my gosh. That was electric right there, guys. <laughs> so I just had a gar. And he stole my green pumpkin Ned Warren, so I put my white one back on and first cast with that and I got myself another little smallie. Not a monster once again, but you saw how fast that guy was swimming. That was crazy. I'd love to catch a big one to fight like that. Peace. Smallie! Another fast one. Oh, wow. <laughs> you got one behind yours? This creek definitely doesn't seem to have a whole big population of big ones. Or at least we haven't seen very many big ones out here today. But these little guys are, oh, he ate it. Oh, he spit it out. Golly, they're aggressive in this spot. Can I send you back? They're feasting right now. Stay on there. Stay on there. That's, a, that's not a smallie, is it? No, looky there. <laughs> yes. Oh, gosh. Look what I just caught, guys. Surprise, this is the first one we've caught so far today. That is an Ozark red eye bass. He ate the little white Ned rig. I just lost a pretty good sized smallmouth. We are in a really beautiful spot. We have a really deep cut with some really big chunk rock. And I feel like there's some really big smallies hanging out there, but there's also apparently some of these guys chilling. 
He's a little chubby guy. We love catching these fish anytime we are exploring these Ozark oh, yeah. rivers and creeks. And um, that's awesome. He's not a monster, but he's definitely an above average size one for sure. But we'll go on ahead and drop this guy back into the creek. That was cool. Now let's try to find ourselves a big smallie out here. I, there's got to be one in this creek somewhere. Like, we can't walk this far and not catch one, Jay. It looks too good right here. It looks way too good. And, you know, maybe they're there and they just don't want to bite our baits, but we're going to try to do some convincing. Big one? Oh, good one, Jay. Oh, that's the biggest one, I think. Come on. Come on. You got him, Jay. You got him, Jay. There it is. All right, good job, Jay. Way to finally catch us a decent size smallmouth. I know, I'm not gonna lie, I've lost a couple just a few minutes ago. So I was like freaking out on this one. I did not want to lose this fish. <laughs> yeah, he's not a monster. He's probably, about four, he's probably about 13, 14 inches, but still he's a lot, you know, thicker built than the other ones we've caught. Mm -hmm. And he fought really good, it looked like. Yeah, they're all just so feisty. They fight so hard. I know, if we could like link up with one of these two pounders that are out here, I bet it'll fight like crazy because oh, yeah. something, oh, yeah. something's got him in a, in a tube today. <laughs> But yeah, I guess we will get this guy back in the water. We have a little bit of stretch left. We're gonna go down to like right where you see those rocks at right about there. That's gonna be our end point because we're gonna hike back out on the road and get back to the car. So we don't have a whole lot of time to make something happen, but hopefully we'll get another chance at a good one. Hopefully. Good job, Jay. <laughs> Thank you. All right, fishy, we'll see you later. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Cole and Jay and Tiger from a couple of videos ago. And we have traveled here to this wonderful little river back behind us to do some wave fishing for some smallmouth. Now, something's kind of weird. We had to come up here and park at this little bridge to access the creek. There's a sign over there that says dangerous to access the river from that side, but not dangerous to access it from right here. So I'm not really sure what's up with that. Hopefully we're reading that right. Yeah, because we're still <laughs> entering the river kind of in the same spot. But another thing to note, this is kind of a dangerous river. There's some big waterfalls and there's also been some sinkholes pop up in this thing that have actually um, unfortunately claimed a couple of people so we had to be on the lookout for those but hopefully we don't find any of those sinkholes out here today and only find some big smallies possibly some walleye possibly some other random fish I don't really know but Jay is actually pretty terrified of the sinkholes yes. and she, it was kind of hard to get her to come out here but I think it's gonna be okay and I'm pretty sure we'll, we will be able to see them I'm in front of us you, though. yeah okay I'll, I, I said I said in the car that I would lead the way um, so if it sucked any of us down it'd be me but Anyways, we're not gonna hit any sinkholes. We're just gonna catch some fish. Hopefully y'all are excited to join along with us on today's fishing adventure. If so, you know what to do. Smash that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of our future wild and crazy fishing adventures. But with that being said, it's hot out here. It's like 100 degrees. The water's gonna be like mid 60s, so we are ready to get in. We'll see you out there. Fish on! It feels good. He's swimming down the current, but he still feels good. Get out of those rocks. Get out of those rocks. Get up here. Are you a smallie? Oh yeah, a nice smallie. Not a monster, but definitely a good way to start the day. We just hike down the side of this bridge. First little waterfall. And we got ourselves a smallie. Nice. How about that? That is what we were after. Hopefully we can get some good ones here. This river has a good a uh, population of smallmouth in it and it has some good sized ones like the average size here is better than what we catch some of the other places we like to go fishing at so that's exciting to get on the board with my first smallie of the day i'll send you back here we go jay's hooked up with her first fish of the trip big. oh get him in here let's see oh he's got some shoulders he's got some shoulders jj oh yeah that's a good one bigger oh, than what i caught no. oh baby look at that fish okay, he's not as big as <laughs> he ain't bad no, it's a nice one. Feisty River smallmouth. Let's Man. go. We've gone like 50 yards upstream. We've already caught some nice ones already. Now that's how we really get things started. That is a quality smallmouth out of this river. And we've only gone like 50 yards up from that bridge yeah. too. And on the jerk bait, that's always fun. Man, these fish fight so hard. I really thought he was a monster. I know, we got some fast current. And um, man, yeah, these fish when they get in the current, they really will start dogging you. But that's a good one. Yeah. A pound or so. 
And we've caught some big ones here, so hopefully we'll find some even bigger than that really soon. <laughs> Send it back. Oh. Oh. Woo. Hey, <laughs> give me some. Tiger, we need you to catch one. I know it. That's a fish. That's a fish. I thought it was a rock, but it's a fish. Is it a smallie? Is it a smallie, JJ? It's not a smallie. It's an Ozark red eye bass, baby. Woo. Hey, I'll take it. Uh oh, Jay got excited. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. A nice little Ozark red eye bass. Right after Jay caught that smallie. Yeah. Beautiful fish. I mean, that is crazy. I wish that you could catch some of these like three and four pounds. They'd be awesome. That's a good one though. I wish I had a stringer too. I kind of want to keep some of them, but it'd be all right. We'll see you. There's a fish. Is that a smallie? Looks like a smallie. Looks like a smallie. Kind of a small smallie, about like the same size as my first one. Maybe a little smaller, but kind of chunky. There's smallmouth number two for me today. And it's our fourth fish total, I think, so far. Not bad at all. Oh. We've gotten up here kind of in the main river and there's a bunch of these big, like just chunk rocks with like deep holes on the backsides. I mean, not super deep, but you know, four or five foot on the backside of them. And that's where that fish came from. And any of these spots could be holding a really nice sized fish. But I can't really tell what's happening up ahead. It looks like it's getting really deep. We're gonna have to figure out some way to maneuver around this and hopefully find another waterfall or something. Oh, fish. fish, 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 fish. Good one, Jay. Good one, Jay. That's another nice one on the jerk bait. Yeah. That's a really nice one. Get that guy up here. Let's go, baby. That's a nice one. Oh gosh. Don't get hooked. Yes. Oh. Dang, it's been nothing but quality for you so far. That jerk bait definitely provides some bigger bites. Oh yeah. Hopefully I'm gonna catch a monster today. My PB, that's what I'm hoping for. Yeah, if you catch anything over three pounds, which we do have a scale with us today, it'll be your new PB. Yeah. And that is a nice one. I've caught some over three pounds in here before, so we know that they're here. Ooh. I've even hooked up with some over four, I do believe. Oh my goodness. But yeah, that's a really nice one. I think he's like a pound and a half. Yeah. Beautiful fish. All right, let's send him back. This is a cool spot, but we're running out of water to walk Woo. without potentially Bye. getting into some trouble. There we go. <laughs> because right up here, I mean, literally right past, you see that rock right there, right past, oh, almost got a dragonfly on me. Right past that rock, it's like 10, 12 feet deep. So we're gonna have to loop back around this way, maybe try to hug that bank over there where Tiger's hanging out at. Tiger's hooked up, Tiger's hooked up from way down yonder. How's he feel, buddy? It looks pretty good. Oh, he's about to get you. Oh, I don't know how close I can get. There we go, dude. What are you, Ned Rig? Ned Rig. I mean, you and Jay are catching them nice ones. I'm oh. catching them dinks. There you go. Maybe I need to throw a bait fish batter. I'm falling. I'm falling. <laughs> See you. Whoa. Good job, buddy. All right, so we couldn't go any further that way. So we've walked back here to this kind of construction area where the bridge is where we started at. We're actually going to walk downstream a little bit and see how far we can make it before we hit some more deep water. Jay, what are your thoughts on this? The water looks pretty good down there. Hopefully there will be some big ones. Yeah, and hopefully we'll be able to walk down a good bit before we have to turn back because it gets too deep. And hopefully I'm going to get run off from oh, being out here. Oh, gosh. One. Tiger's already got one. Hold on, that fish, Tiger. <laughs> how big are we talking? What kind of fish live here? Look at that. Hey, that was a good move. We were kind of bummed we had to turn around, but this might work out. Nice one, dude. All right, we're gonna fish all this. This looks juicy, to be honest. Looks really juicy. It looks a lot more weightable also. I got a fish. I thought I was hung up. I had a fish. Oh, that's my biggest one so far, I think. Stay on there, buddy. Come here. Yes. Not as big as ones that Jay and Tiger have caught, but I'll take it. Tiger's caught another one? Goodness, this is a good spot. There's my fish. Call them up. Wow. Yeah. Tiger's ripping my Ned bait. Fish on, Jay's got one. Jay's got one. It's non-stop in this spot. Oh. Nice little guy. And we've caught three fish in the last 30 seconds. Oh, uh -oh. she's hooking to sleep. Let me run my bait in. Nice one, Jay. That was almost bad. <laughs> yeah, you still. I think you're good. He's not yeah. hooked that bad in your sleeve, but I yeah. Got it. Sweet little tiny guy, but there's got to be a big one in on this so spot. So cute. It looks so good. Whoa. <laughs> and especially with as many as there are right here. Oh, Jay's hooked up. Double. Double. Jay's got one. Double. Tiger's got one. Oh my gosh, who's this bigger? There's Jay's oh. fish. There's Tiger's fish. Look at that. I think yours is a little bit bigger, dude. I do too. 
Nice one. Jay, y'all are keeping me busy. Yeah. Look at that. Jay's got her fish, and meanwhile, Tiger's already got another one. Oh, he lost it. The big Boss is on again with the jerk bait. She's saying it's a big one. He ain't a bad one. Oh, not a bad one. Not a bad one at all. My goodness. And just thrashing that thing. Ooh. I'm telling you guys are not letting up on these fish. I know. I don't know how many we've caught here. I know. It's like, you, it's like you catch one and I turn on Tiger's got one. It's just crazy. Yeah, it's another like 14 inch or so, just under a pound maybe. Hard to say. It could be a pound, but they're just crushing that jerk bait. <laughs> they really are. It's like insane how good they're biting it. I've been throwing a shakehead worm and it is not working in this spot. I'm going to have to mix something up. <laughs> Send him back. Don't tell your buddies. Woo! Awesome job, Jay. Keep it up. There's a fish. Be a big one. Be a big one. Decent. Finally got one down here. We've waited a good ways down from where we were catching them in that shoal. We're in some deeper water. And we got ourselves a nice little smallie. Woo. Oh, he's gone. Oh, he's gone. No. Is he up by the bank? He texted me. Um, no. He was kind of in the middle. Big one? Oh. Big one? Oh. Go, JJ. Oh, that's a good one. Woo. Yeah. That's it. Oh, nice. This is a cool spot, too. Yeah, it is really cool. I mean, look at this. We got all this, like, pipes and construction. And Jay's got... That's, I don't know if it's your biggest. Yeah, I don't know if this is my biggest one, but it's a dang good one. Yeah, and also, this... while you were fighting that one. Yeah, Tiger got one. Tiger got him one. Look at that. There you go. Fatty That's too. a fat belly. Here, you're holding up beside each other. Mine Look at that. Bigger. Jay's is slightly bigger, I think. It's I hard know. to say. I don't, I don't know. know. I got, I got huh? some shoulders. Yep. Tiger's, I think, is bigger, Jay. What? Get out of here, Tiger. <laughs> That's awesome. That's what I'm talking about. All right, let's get a double release on these guys. Three, two, two one. one. Coleslaw's hooked up. How you got one too? Yep. I got a pretty good one. I got a walleye. There you go. I got a bat. I got a large mouth. Watch out, dude. Watch out, dude. Watch out, dude. I got a big bass. I got a green one. Oh, yeah. There's one following him too. Oh. You got a big one? I got a good smallie. Good smallie? Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. I just all of a sudden took the lead for biggest fish of the day. And that is our first green one too. I was not expecting that. I mean, like, that is not where you would think to catch a green one here in this river. I was. For sure it was a big small one. And then when I saw it, I was like, is that a walleye or something? I was not expecting that. But that's a good one. Like kind of three quarters. Yeah. Hate the drop shot right there in the current. Oh nice. There's Tiger's fish. She got hooks kind of weird. We need to get him back in the water. Yeah. But uh yeah, two good ones. Yep. Woo -hoo! Whoa! <laughs> there they go. Good job. Wait. Let's okay. go! We're smashing them, guys. <laughs> How cool is this? This is fun. Oh, 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 he's, look at, oh my gosh, they were chasing it like crazy. You might get two on there. There were so many fish fighting for that jerk bait just then. And you were just letting it just slide down. That was hey, so cool. That's good to know that there's more out there. That was awesome to watch happen. Another nice smallie. Mine's sending back. Is that a good one, dude? Is that a good one? That's a pretty good one. Smallie? Yep. Oh, good smallie, dude. Oh, he's running. I gotta not say dude so much. <laughs> Y'all got mad at us for saying dude a lot in the last video we were in together, so we've been trying to watch it. Ooh, that's a nice one. one. That's a nice chunky one. We can catch that all day uh -huh. long. Heck yeah. There we go. Feels like a decent bite. Decent fish. Oh, he's not that big. Little guy. Wow, he bit it so hard. Well, I changed baits. I swapped it to a tiny little swim bait. So this is actually an unreleased uh size in the six inch to find some bait that's a 2.8 inch version trying it out here on these creek smallies and it worked out just then he smashed it so hard right behind this big pillar i bet there's another one golly i thought it was a huge fish I'm not even kidding oh big it oh gosh better oh there's no one. Oh, there's a bigger one chasing him he's right beneath him oh my gosh it's another large mouth it's a large mouth hole over here gosh I'm getting a little ahead of myself when I say biggin', but they're just smashing it. See, let me get another one. There was one followed him out that's bigger than him. Not much bigger, but that is such a good spot right there.
Oh my gosh, Shay's got a big one. Grab him, grab him. Grab him. I don't even know if I was recording. I was barely recording. Oh my gosh. That's a giant smolly. I was just screaming. I'm sorry. Now, Jay, we've been fishing this hole for like the last 30 minutes. We've caught about 15 fish out of the spot. We I didn't know. think there was anything left. And look at you, we were getting some B-roll shots and you actually hooked up on that cast. I don't even think I was working my bait. I think I was just letting it like drift down. And then And I was like, oh, I got one. Then I was like, that fish jumped up and I was like, ah! <laughs> and I mean, that thing is built like a torpedo. Like that yes. is the fish that we've been after all day. I mean, seriously, like that is a really good fish. He yeah. crushed that little jerk bait. And this is like the perfect spot. I mean, look at this, guys. And this is exactly where you would expect to find a big smallmouth. Yeah. That is so nice. That is awesome. That's amazing. Great job with that, Jay. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad I didn't lose him. That's so cool. <gasps> All right. Thanks for the fight, fish. That was awesome. Woo! Mm -hmm. Strong kick. It's wow. so crazy how that fish can swim up in that fast current. I know. I mean, he just went right back up in there. <gasps> hey. That was so cool. Congrats on that <laughs> fish. Go catch Thank another you. One. I bet there's another one like that in there. Let's go find out. Oh my gosh, 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 oh my gosh. Jay's got another one. Give me your big cat Oh my god, the current slowed down. You got it. <laughs> this is absolute insanity. Like literally the same thing. I was trying to get some more shots in this spot. <laughs> Jay cast it back out and hooked my another one. My very next cat. And I was like, is it a big? She's I don't know. And then it popped up in a giant large mouth. Wow. I mean a big old large mouth. <laughs> Look at the size of that guy. He's bigger than a smallmouth. That's like a three pounder. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm like freaking out. That was so cool. And it was the exact same thing too. Just yeah, the exact just same spot. Couple twitches, let it drift down and they yeah. ate it. You, did, you definitely found out a cadence that's working with that jerk yeah. bait. What a beautiful largemouth. <laughs> Insane. I just kind of keep freaking out because the current is so strong right there. I know, and then these fish are so big. Yeah. That is amazing. Woo! Back to back casts, like nearly a three pound smallmouth. And then definitely a three pound <laughs> largemouth. Crazy. We've been here for like 40 minutes. I know. Insane. That's a beautiful fish, too. Yeah. All oh, right. He's he ready. is ready to go. All right. See you later, fish. Oh, jump. Jump. Oh, oh we almost got he it. We thought about it. Man, they just take off in that fast current. That's crazy. So cool. Woo! Gotcha. Good one. Good one. Good one. Good one. Get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. Yeah. Yes. There we go. There we go. I made a swap over to a little salamander Ned rig. Oh, heck yeah. This isn't much compared to the smallmouth that Jay and Tiger have caught today, but that is my biggest of the day, I think, so far. One probably 14 inches, a pound or so. And I made a swap to a little Ned rig, little salamander guy, and I got hooked in my sleeve in the process of getting this fish unhooked. Um, we're fishing the upstream side of this spillway where the Jay just caught the big ones. I had a feeling there'd be some good ones down there and um, this fish that I caught, but I still think there are a couple nice ones. So we're gonna make a few more casts, see if we can get a big one or two, but we've been out here for a long time now and our time is just about up, but we're gonna make a few more casts and see a couple more fish in the bank. And since I'm all hooked up, I'm just gonna get my light toss back into the drink. We'll see you, buddy. Now I gotta get this. Can you get this hook out of me? Sure. I need some help. <laughs> Oh, another one. What is that? Oh, look at that red eye bass. That thing is yellow. Oh, it looks like a goldfish. I don't think I've ever caught a red eye bass like this. That thing is so yellow. That is incredible how yellow that fish is. And he bit the little salamander too. He smoked it right here in front of me. I mean, guys, that's like one of the most gorgeous fish I've ever caught in my life. He's just pure gold. Beautiful fish. We'll see you, buddy. Jay's hooked up. Nice one. Nice one? Oh yeah. There we go. Oh! oh! There we go. First smallie of the day belongs to Jay. Get that guy up here. Goodness gracious. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Heck yeah. That's awesome. We just fished through this little rapid right here. We weren't getting any bites. We were going to start moving up, but I guess you snuck another cast in behind me and 
Got our first smallie of the day. Heck yeah. He's not a monster, but he is a good, nice start to the day. Probably like a 12 inch or so. Yeah. He felt a lot bigger in the current. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. And just because he's a smallmouth. Smallmouth yeah. fight really hard. Yeah. What do you get, a shaky head? Yeah. Yeah, nice little shaky head fish. That's awesome. Way to go, Jay. Thank you. All right, let's release this guy and let's get some more. See you later, buddy. Whoa. Nice. Where did he go? I don't even know. He was, that was so fast. I know he was quick. I don't even know where he went. Oh, I got one. Oh, eat it. Eat it. Oh, there we go. Fish on. I'm on. I know. It's a bigger one, too. Oh, I almost had. Oh, my gosh. I had two fish on just for a second. Jay, throw it here behind me. I got two. Oh, my gosh. I had two. Oh, my gosh. Get it, Jay. Get him out of my bait. He's trying to get it out of his mouth. He's trying to get I'm going to let him try to get it, too. He's trying to get the hook out of his mouth. Yeah, he's trying to get it out of his mouth. Oh, my gosh. He's really trying to get it. You see him right there? Yeah. He's trying to take the bait out of that fish's mouth. Oh. Okay, he, yeah, he's gone. He's still there. We might can catch him here in a second. Get my focus on landing this one. This is a nice fish. Yes, sir. Wow, that is a good one. Woo. Wow. There we go. He's not a monster. That's a little bit bigger than the one Jay just caught, a little bit thicker. There was literally three fish fighting for it, all the same size. That's a beautiful one. He's got some nice little tiger stripes on him. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Catching him on one of my sneaky favorite little jerk baits. That's the Six Sense Hyper Jerk 70. A killer bait in these shallow creeks. And of course, throwing one of my favorite colors. Hit us. So you can see it's sunny and clear. I hear some throwing that color shad burst. And you can see it's got that little prism foil on the side of it. And it drives these fish crazy. There we go. First fish for me. Nice, like 14 inch or so, a little fatty. And we will send him back. Bye. Hey, that was two fish in like 30 seconds, Jay. We almost had three fish. Yeah. That would have been sick. There's a fish. Be a good one. Oh, it looks like a nice fish, guys. I swapped it to a drop shot. Wouldn't get any more bites on the jerk bait. Feels like a pretty decent one. I haven't seen him yet. Oh, yeah. I think he's bigger than my last one, guys. Oh, maybe not a lot bigger, but he's a nice fish, though. There we go. Nice jump. Yeah, baby. Oh, there we go. He's definitely bigger than the last one I caught. Come here. Yes, sir. That's a good one. That right there is a good one. I only have one drop shot weight, too, so <laughs> my drop shot fishing might be limited, but I wanted to get it in. And uh, we got ourselves a nice one. There is our biggest smallmouth of the day. He's gonna be getting kind of close to two pounds, but probably not there. Probably like a pound and three quarters or so. But I made a swap to a drop shot. Wasn't getting any bites on the jerk bait anymore. Wasn't having any more followers. It's the sun's gotten really high. It's in the middle of the daytime. I was thinking maybe they'd be hanging out deep. We've got this nice pullback behind us. And uh, so I decided to go with the drop shot. Dug around in my bag. Let me get him unhooked real quick. Found one drop shot weight. And I had a bag of the brand new Six Sense Glitch, little drop shot bait. That thing is a smallmouth snack if I've ever seen one. And this guy found it very, very appealing. <laughs> and that is a beautiful fish. This is exactly the type of fish we we're after out here today. Got some nice lateral bars, got some spots. Looks just like a little tiger. And he fought like one too. It's so awesome. So anyways, uh, maybe that is a clue that we need to stick to fishing baits on the bottom. Jay still has that shaky head tied on, so maybe we can catch them here in this deep water and maybe we'll find some more downstream. But we're going to send him back and uh, see if we can catch them even bigger than this one. All right, so every fish we've caught so far has been bigger than the last, so hopefully that'll be an ongoing trend. We'll send this guy back. Oh, he's underneath my feet. Where's he going to go? There he is. And there he goes. Back out there to terrorize some shiners. Let's catch another one. Oh, I got a fish. I thought I was hung up, JJ. That's a good one, isn't it? He's coming over the floor. I thought I was stuck on a stick. I threw right by a stick. He's in the current. He's in the current. I'm gonna come to you, buddy. I'm coming to you. That was awesome. Oh gosh, he's pretty. He is beautiful. Look at that guy. Look at that guy fighting. Ooh, he swapped back up to another jerk, but we got into some shallower water again, and I lost my <laughs> lost my drop shot weight. That's a good one. 
<laughs> ah, don't hook me. Wow, look at that one. Yeah. They keep getting bigger, guys. That's awesome. All right, guys, what do you think? Do you think that one's bigger than the last one? I, I think, think he might so. be. Yeah, he looks a little bit thicker around the shoulders, a little bit pudgier. He might not be longer, but that is a beautiful bass. I threw up across the creek and I landed by the stick and I honestly thought that I had snagged a branch and then it just started swimming and I was like, oh shoot. And he came up over this little shallow ridge like over in four inches of water and it was just like so crazy. It was awesome watching him fight in the current. But that's another beautiful, beautiful smallmouth bass and he's like the last one, kind of getting close to two pounds, but probably not quite there, but still just a beautiful fish. I mean, look at the patterns. I know, all these fish are so beautiful, even with the sun like shining on them. I know, they're, awesome. they're, they're all unique in their own way. Some of them are darker, some of them are lighter. That's a beautiful fish. And uh, we're gonna send him back right here in this tiny little part of the creek. All right, we're gonna drop him in right here, head first. Let's see if he'll swim that way. That's where I want you to go. Woo! There he goes, right through the weeds. It's <laughs> awesome. There he goes. <laughs> awesome. And that is the little gem that I caught that guy on. That's a little ripstop jerk bait. I've caught hundreds of smallmouth on this tiny little bait. This exact one, honestly, I just changed the hooks out a minute ago. And um, I think it's ready to go to maybe catch another hundred today. What do you think? I think so. Let's hope see. So. I hope so. It's been kind of a slow day. We've already hiked, you know, well over a mile down this creek. And um, we've only caught, that's number four? Yeah, that's four. Normally we're on about 14 at this point. So we got to pick up the pace. But hopefully we'll get some more on this guy, maybe some more on the shaky head. But time will tell. Creek looks good that way, so let's keep on going. There he is, there he is. Oh, it's not a smallie. Oh, new species. It's an Ozark red eye bass. Wow. Look at that. He choked it. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Hang on, yeah. Let me get this. Yeah, out. be careful with that one. I love catching these fish. And Cole let me use his jerk bait for a minute. <laughs> and my first cast with it, I caught this guy. Yeah, this so. is little, there's, this, there's this run right here, and there's a nice little current break right there. And I was like, it's kind of shallow. It seemed too shallow to throw a shaky. And I was like, you should throw that jerk bait over there and see if you catch something. That guy gobbled that back treble up. That's a beautiful Ozark red eye bass. You can see they get that name from that red eye. Kind of look like shadow bass. The shadow bass are a little bit more blotched. But anyways, that's a nice one. He's not super big. It'd be cool if we could catch some bigger ones because those, oh, yeah. they get a lot bigger. They get up to like a pound. And like we said, they are just so beautiful. But I guess we'll send him back on his way and we'll keep on looking for some big monster smallies. All right. <sighs> so graceful. That was awesome. Good job, <laughs> JJ. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks for the bait. <gasps> Big snake. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Let's go, baby. Oh, I just saw him out of the corner of my eyes. That oh, is God. a beautiful guy. Oh, you can't go nowhere without catching a snake, JJ. <laughs> that one is so pretty. Oh, hi. Man. Do you don't that. like me? He's yeah. the one who caught you. Why he's are you so mad at me? He said, I don't like you, Jay. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> he is ticked at me. I didn't do it, buddy. He said it's all your fault. There you go, look at him. Oh, yeah. there it is, there it is. <laughs> How about that for a bonus catch? It came with the expense of a few bites. Oh goodness. He tagged me like four <laughs> times just now, but that's okay, it didn't hurt that bad. Like I've said before in a lot of other snake catching videos, these water snakes have anticoagulant and their saliva. So as soon as they bite you, you just start bleeding a lot and you're like, oh, I'm bleeding a ton, but it doesn't hurt, which is kind of crazy. But anyways, let me get a head grab on this guy or just get him feeling a little bit more a little bit more at home with me. He's feeling quite agitated. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Okay, he's gonna have to, we're gonna have to put you in timeout, buddy. Ow! He said, I'm gonna put you in timeout, <laughs> son. Okay. Now that we have a hold of each other. He is a little, he's a little He's upset. a little agitated. For a Midland water snake, he's pretty agitated. Normally these guys are a little more docile than like plain bellies or diamondbacks, but Either way, I had to grab him in the water. I, I couldn't tell how big he was. I just saw like the back half of him going underneath some grass and I saw his beautiful dorsal coloration. I mean, look at that, guys. That snake is gorgeous. Oh, yeah. So beautiful. If you weren't well versed in snake identification, you might would assume that this was a, a copperhead swimming through the waters because they kind of have similar colors, but uh, this is definitely not a copperhead. This is a non venomous Midland water snake, Nerodia sipidon pluralis. And uh, if you take a look at his belly, you can see he has these awesome dark red half moon patterns on his belly. That's a good indication that this is a Midland. And then, I mean, just take a look at that dorsal view again. He is just so, so pretty. 
<laughs> Look at his cute little face. No, he's cute little face and just wants to bite you. This guy <laughs> has no compassion for either you or I, and I understand that. I would feel the same way if I was snatched up out of a creek by some weird looking dude with a camera. But um, yeah, there's also a really pretty butterfly right here. I yeah. see Jack keeps glancing over. She can't help herself. I can't stop looking at him. That's a pipe vine swallowtail. Yeah. The creek is teeming with life today. Look at that. He's just, he's just doing so it. So pretty. That. that is beautiful. This is a great nature appreciation moment, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so much nature. Let's get back it. to our snake, buddy. I, have, I don't think I have anything else to say, except for that he's beautiful. And we are about to send him on his way before he just gets all upset. He already is upset, but. He's just gonna have to deal with it because we love him and we want you guys to love him and appreciate him too. Look at that, he's just flickering his tongue like a madman. Oh, Whoa. he's loose. He's hot. Whoa. Don't bite me. Don't bite me. It's okay. We're gonna let you go. You ready to go? Okay, we'll let you go right now. <laughs> All right, buddy. Thanks for the fun time. We are going to send you back now. We'll see you later. Again? <laughs> no. Oh gosh. Definitely the prettiest fish of the day. Oh my goodness. Look That's a good it. one. Nice long ear sunfish. <laughs> it's crazy that everything will eat that jerk bait. And those guys, they're not really trying to eat the minnow. I don't think they just come up behind it because they're attracted to the flashing sides and they see those trebles and think it's like a little bug or something. <laughs> cool. Such a pretty fish. Oh my goodness. All right. Send him back. Bye. <laughs> Oh, fish on for JJ. Nice. Is that another long ear sunfish? Yep. Look at you go. Ooh. That's a little bit nicer one. He's like double the size of the first one you caught. Yeah. Oh gosh. And look at the colors on that guy. Just a beautiful little specimen. <laughs> but not really what I'm trying to catch right now. Yeah, not exactly what you're trying to achieve, but I'm sure if you just keep tossing that jerk bait around, you'll hook a big smallmouth here in a little bit. Look at that. Beautiful fish. One, two, three. We'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Jay. Hey. Oh, there's a big one following it. Please eat it. Get it out of his mouth. Take it out of his mouth. Steal it from him. Oh, I was trying to let him steal it from him. And the fish got off. I had a little one, but there was a monster following him. Holy smokes. Maybe, maybe I'll come back for it. Got him. That's him. That's him. That's him. That's the one I saw. That's where it is. Oh, baby. He just put a big old shiner. Oh, stay on there. That's a big guy. Biggest of the day. Oh my gosh. Stay on there. Oh, I got him. That has to be him. Yes. I think that's him. Oh yeah. Oh yes. <laughs> yes. Woo. That never happens guys. That has to be him. That's a beautiful fish. Look how big he is. <laughs> oh my gosh, Jay, isn't that fish gorgeous? That is a beautiful bass. Oh my, oh my gosh. gosh. I thought it was a little bit bigger. I'm not gonna lie. When it jumped, it looked so big. I thought it had like a three pounder, but there's that's definitely a two pound smallie. But look at the dark bronze color on that guy. Some of the first ones we caught were kind of brighter. We're around some more rocks. Normally when you get fish around rocks, they get darker color, but that is a gorgeous <laughs> fish on the jerk bait. Y'all heard me say that there was a big one following that small one I had on there. I'm I'm not 100% certain, but I'll believe that this is the same fish that I just saw chasing the other one. And he came back and got him some. Maybe got her some. She looks like she's a spawned out female. What do you think? Yeah. Kind of poochy? I don't yeah. know. Could be, couldn't, but could not be. It's hard to tell for sure, but look at that. What That's a beautiful awesome. fish. That's incredible. And in, a, and in an incredible spot too. I mean, look how fast these rapids are. Set her down here and get her a drink. Wanna keep these fish nice and healthy. We got these nice, really fast rapids. And I mean, that was a crazy fight. That was so cool. <laughs> yeah, oh those gosh. jumps were, those jumps were scary. <laughs> yeah, I had to cover some ground to keep up with it. Otherwise it was gonna either break me off or pull a treble hook, but we somehow managed to get her. What a gorgeous fish, guys. All right, one last look at our fish. With a fish like this, you know we have to give it a proper release out here in the middle of the creek where we caught it. So we're gonna dunk it in right here. Ready to go, baby? Hey Jay, you gotta quit laying down on the job over there. 
Uh, you can keep fishing. I'm just going to hang out here with the butterflies. Look at this, guys. We have found a swarm of zebra swallowtails puddling. They found some sort of some sort of nutrient source, and they are just lapping it up. And there's like a dozen of them. They're flying around all over the place. We kind of spooked a few of them, but those are like literally inches from Jay's face. They know she's not going to hurt her. She's the butterfly queen. And this is exactly one of the reasons why we love coming to a place like this thing. You know, all the wildlife encounters we can have, aside from catching fish. I mean, look at that, guys. I mean, those butterflies are oh so gorgeous. How many are there? Right here in front of me. I see that's like awesome. at, at least ten. And you also have those little guys there with them too. Those are little hair streak butterflies, but yeah. that's incredible, Jay. Have yeah. you ever been that close to that many zebra swallowtails at once? I have not. <laughs> this is this is a special moment for me right now. <laughs> you should you should try to get up in there and get a taste of what they're tasting. Oh yeah. <laughs> it, it's obviously good because I'm literally just right here and they don't even care. Yeah, there's been so many times we'll be out here chasing butterflies down, trying to get shots of them, and they're just flying around all over the place. But these guys, they're just chilling. They are unaffected. Oh, uh oh. I'm touching them. This is cool. I know we said earlier when we had that encounter with the Midland water snake and the butterfly, that was our nature appreciation moment of the day, but I think this one right here definitely tops it. What oh, do you yeah. say, JJ? This is definitely the highlight of my day. <laughs> <laughs> now, I know that you could lay here all day with butterflies, Jay, but we've got some more fish we've got to catch. We've got about another maybe a half mile or so we're going to hike down the creek and hopefully we can catch some more big ones. I know it's hard to leave them though. Yes, I don't want to leave. I might just leave you and then come back for you later. <laughs> okay. I'll just be here. Guys, looky here what we just spotted or what Jay just spotted here in the rocks. We've got ourselves a new little jerk bait and that guy looks really juicy. I don't think I've ever seen this color before. I don't even know how you spotted that. I think it was that glow, right? Yeah. A little rainbow. <laughs> but that is a, I think that's a husky jerk. So I've been throwing the Rapala ripstop. This is a husky jerk, I do believe. But that is clear with like some foil in there. Y'all see that? It's got like a rainbow foil in there. And with the water being crystal clear, I bet that this is a dynamite jerk bait. Oh yeah. For this creek. So, Jay called dibs on it. Yep. <laughs> we've been catching some nice ones on the jerk bait, so we've already cut off shaky head. We were actually about to tie something else on, so while we already have nothing on there, we might as well tie this bad boy on, right? Oh yeah. Now I have no idea if somebody like got mad at this bait because it didn't work and they chunked it, or if a big smallmouth broke it off or what, but there's like no fishing line attached to it. Somebody could have just flipped and lost it and they're probably missing it. I think it's a pretty expensive jerk bait, but it's ours now and hopefully it catches a big one. It's exciting. I think we're both just going to do jerk baits from here on out since we've been catching some nice ones on it. I'm not really sure what the action looks like, but I'm sure it'll work just fine for these smallies. Go get them. Take a look around. You see all these rocks. There's one that stands out from the others. Do you see it? Look right in the middle of your screen. See this little fuzzy guy? That is not a rock. It's a baby turtle. Look how fuzzy and mossy he is. Oh my gosh. That is a beautiful turtle. That is a baby Ozark map turtle. Is it really? Yeah. He's got fuzz all over him. Oh my goodness. We're gonna have to get a closer look at this guy because he is so adorable. Oh my goodness, guys. He is so adorable. I said he was an Ozark map turtle. I didn't mean to say it. That is a common map Woo! turtle. We are here in the Ozark Mountains, but this is not an Ozark map turtle. Oh, I'm not even sure head. if there's a thing. But yeah, look at that. So you can tell it's a common map turtle. You see that little yellow spot there right behind his eye? That is their signature feature that helps you identify them from other map turtles. And he's got moss all over his shell and it's actually attached to his face. We thought he was just like just chilling with a little moss on him, but it's like actually growing out of his head. So yeah. that's weird. We tried pulling it off, but it was like really kind of stuck. So we didn't want to pull too hard. I just didn't want it to get over his eyes. I know. Let me get a close up. Look at that. He is precious. So, so, so cute. That moss is literally, it's not just like laying easily on his head. It's like literally growing out of his skin, which is kind of crazy. But anyways, he is so cute. He's so yeah. beautiful. Look at that. They have no markings on their plastron. The plastron is the bottom part of their shell. They just have those little ridges, you know, some turtles have black spots on them, but he is just awesome. He's working it too. He keeps peeping out. He's like, what's his camera? <laughs> what do you want to name him, Jay? We got to name him something real quick. First name that comes to the top of your head. Well, I called him Alfalfa because he had the moss sticking straight up when we found him. Okay, we'll call him Alfalfa. <laughs> Alfalfa, you were a delight to encounter and we're going to send you back. Oh! Oh! Oh, there's another one 
Mom, Jay, throw out there. There's three. There's three big ones. Jay, you're in the wrong spot. Throw behind my bait. There's three big ones. There's three big ones. Throw right behind there, There's three big ones, Jay. I'm not even kidding. Oh, gosh. Okay, well, they're still out there. Let me, let this, let me get this guy in. There was three big ones. I mean, much bigger than this one. Oh, it's so hard not to panic when fish are doing that, isn't it? But there we go. We got ourselves another smallie and there's some more. I don't know why we can't just get the big ones to eat the bait first. All right, another nice, decent smallmouth, victim of the jerk bait. There were three nice ones and he's gonna go tell them not to eat it. <laughs> oh, there's one. Is there another one behind it? I don't see any more behind it, he's all by himself. I like, so it's like dropped straight down right here and he's hanging right here on this drop. Another one kind of like the last one I caught. Not super big, but still a fish. Like if you were just walking this way, just cast, not paying attention, you would step right here and you would be over your head in like two steps. This is crazy how deep this is, but it presents us with an awesome chance to get a cool little shot of releasing this guy. Pretty cool, but I am sinking quick. It's really deep right there, JJ. I don't know where we're gonna go. I think we can go right there, cast across. I said we hit those rocks, and if we don't catch anything there, then we turn back. What do you think? Sound good? Um, oh, wow. I way too high. The hang time on that was insane. <laughs> get him, Jay, get him, Jay, get him, Jay, get him, Jay. Oh, oh he's under the rock. Oh, oh she's got him. <laughs> yes. Oh. Looky there. A nice little ribbon snake. There okay. we go. A stinky ribbon snake. Amazing snag, Jay. That is an awesome looking ribbon snake. Yeah. Wasn't really expecting to see one of those today. No. So, he was just hanging out in this little puddle of water. I know. Yeah, we were looking down in there because we saw some tadpoles. We were actually making our way back to the vehicle because we weren't catching any smallmouth and it's getting kind of late, but we noticed this guy chilling out of the corner of our eye and then Jay decided that she had to get her hands on it to get a closer look. We're just finding everything today. This I know. Is, this is awesome. We've got two snakes. We've got some turtles, some butterflies, caught some smallies. Caught several different fish species, yeah. so I'd say that is just a great way to wrap up today's adventure with a nice little ribbon snake. He's beautiful too. I love the stripes on him. He's really mm -hmm. clean. I mean, he's crisp. I mean, look at those lines. Beautiful, beautiful snake. And I mean, he's exactly where you would expect to see a ribbon snake here on the edge of this pool. He's hunting little minnows that are trapped. I mean, these fish in this pool can't go nowhere, so it's a perfect spot for snakes, including cottonmouth, which they're going to be coming out soon if we don't hurry up and yeah, get back. Yeah, we got to start getting back. Yeah. Because we kind of walked really far. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're about... We got a long ways back. Yeah, we're probably about two and a half miles away, which isn't like, you know, super far, but still it's kind of an inconvenient walk. So I guess we will part ways with our buddy here, send him back into the creek or into this little puddle, and we're going to get on out of here. <laughs> He's ready. Yeah. See ya. Jay, where are we at right now? We are at the Buffalo National River. We're about to do a day float and hopefully we're about to catch a bunch of smallmouth bass. Heck yeah, we are here. This is one of our favorite rivers to float here in Arkansas. What's really cool about this place is that it's one of the few remaining undammed rivers here in the entire nation. This place is beautiful. And like Jay said, this thing is full of fish, full of big smallies, and just a bunch of beautiful sights on the way. I mean, look at this guys, look at this big old bluff. We're starting here, we're here at Tyler Bend. This is where we're starting off at. Uh, the few spots upstream were actually a little bit low, but the water here looks great. Yeah. I mean, look at this, the water is like this kind of aqua blue, kind of teal color, it's clear. And it's flowing right here through this nice spot. We actually paddled up from where we put the canoes in because the spot looked so juicy and there was a lot of other people getting in. So we're like, and eh, we'll come, we'll start up here and fish this <laughs> juicy spot and let these other guys kind of make their way down river so we'll have it kind of to ourselves. I think it's gonna be a busy day today because it's a beautiful day out here for floating. Yeah, it's all, summer. It's summertime and it's also really hot. And this is the kind of place that a lot of people like to escape to on these hot mm -hmm. summer days, including us. Yes. It's been very hot where <laughs> yeah. we've been at. So we're excited to get out here, do some river fishing, catch some big smallies, maybe take a few swims yes. along the way. But we have a, I think it's a six mile float ahead of us, which isn't that long of a float, but we're going to take it real slow. We're going to fish all these pools very thoroughly. And we're going to try to catch the biggest fish that live in each of these. So guys, if y'all are into that, do us a favor, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel and Jay, let's get after it. Let's do it. Let's go. Chase hooked up already. Chase hooked up already. That's a good one too, oh my Jay. Gosh. 
Oh my gosh. Are you serious right now? There's one, there's one following him too. There's a big one following him. Jeez. There it is. There it oh is. Oh my gosh. Oh man, we told you guys this pool looked juicy. I actually cast it out and got snagged on a rock first cast. I was heading over to grab a new Ooh. bait. And uh, Jay has smoked our first smolly of the day. He's a little heck chunky yeah. guy, healthy looking, not a monster, but that's a I don't care. that's a heck of a start. Yes, we've been that out here all thirty fast. seconds. Yeah, we've been out here no time at all, and there was a bigger one following him. I know, I saw him. Look how beautifully small mouth are here in this river. That guy is gorgeous. He's got little freckles on his tummy. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> Very pretty fish. All right, well, let's send that guy back and let's get back after it. See you later. <sighs> now maybe I can catch his buddy, his big buddy. Yeah. <laughs> There we go. That's a good fish. That feels like a good fish, guys. Can you see him? Oh. Looks like a pretty good one right there. Oh, it's a good smallie, JJ. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good smallie. He's got a buddy. He's got a buddy. He's got a buddy. Stay on there. Stay on there, big guy. Stay on there. Woo! Nice. There he is. There we go, guys. There's my first smallie of the trip. That's a really good size one, too. He's probably like 14 inches. Drop shot just popped right out. That's that new six cents glitch. Drop shot lure I'm throwing the 4K shad, and um, he was all over it. That's a beautiful fish. And he's got little freckles on his tummy, too, like the one that Jay caught. But we're in a really nice spot. We got this bluff wall, it's a steep bank, and we're going to send him back. We might anchor up here for a minute and cast a few more times, but we'll send this guy back on his way. So we can catch another one. He fought so good, Jay. <laughs> that was awesome. I'm not interested. I want a Dana Max. Oh, there we go. Okay. How big is he? Oh, he's decent. Oh, he's a lot nicer than I thought. Oh, Is that a, oh it's a smallie. Oh, Stay on there. We're just we're just going right now. We're just going down the current. <laughs> Stay on there. Wow, he is beautiful. Yes, sir. All right, look at that, guys. There's my second smallie of the day. Caught the first one on the drop shot, but I caught this one on a cool bait that I love throwing out here in this spot. Let me get him a hook so I can show it to y'all. Actually, let's take a look at this fish before I show you all the bait because I want to get him back in the water. But that's another beautiful Buffalo River Smalley, probably 14 inch like the last one. A little bit lighter in color, but he's got some nice patterns on his side. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous fish. We're hoping that we link up with something twice as big as it's today. But we'll go ahead and send him back here into the beautiful crystal clear waters. Ready to go, buddy? He said, Woo! yes, sir. Take a look at this bait right here, guys. So this isn't really a crazy bait. It's just a little wacky worm. But that bait right there, you see it's a bright orange color little wacky worm this is a discontinued little bait it's a little secret bait of mine and um yeah these guys you can't get these anymore so a long time ago i bought a big old supply of them and i only pretty much use them here on this river so there's a little tip if you're fishing this river throw something with some orange in it and um this. they'll smash it they love it but anyways we're going to keep continuing down through my anchor i gotta pull it back up and we're gonna try to find some more smallmouth hidden between these rocks and these little current breaks Oh, got one. Got one. I didn't know I had him. I was just reeling it in. <laughs> there we go. Fish number three for me. Another nice little smallie. We are in some shallow water, so that's why I'm throwing this little wacky worm right now. When we get in deeper pools, I'll throw the drop shot, the shaky head around. And, um, but yeah, shallow water, little wacky worm. It's hard to beat. There's like a little spring coming in over here on our right, which is kind of nice. Might be worth exploring. I don't know. But all these smallies have little freckles on their belly. They all have these little black spots. So cool, but nice little smallie. We'll send him back. I literally didn't even know I had him on there, Jay. I think so, yeah. Oh, right there, right there, right there, right there, right there. Okay, there's a snake. There's another one up there. We're gonna try to get both of them. Going for two snakes. One. Two. 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 We got him, baby! Woo! <laughs> I didn't even see the big one. I just reached down there and got lucky. <laughs> oh, my God. oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> On a scale from 1 to 10, how likely did you think that that was going to work out? Oh, I knew you were going to catch him. Oh, you knew I was? Yeah. There you go. These people, I mean, or not these people, these snakes are probably super comfortable with people. <laughs> because there's so many people in this river, but, and they're like, man, eh, no one's ever going to grab me. Oh, gosh, okay. All right, here's a better look of our two Midland water snakes that we just caught. We've been catching a lot of these snakes recently. Here's the little guy that we first saw, and then we saw the big guy up closer to the bank. And, um, oh, oh, don't do it. Don't get grumpy. Just be nice. Just be oh. nice. Oh, he's thinking about it. He's thinking about it. 
But these are two really cool snakes. I was shocked, honestly, that I was able to catch both of them. The little one was a little bit easier than the big one. The big one went down underneath the rock and yeah. That one is just so mad at you. He has bit you I don't know how many times. I know, he's he has every right to, but we're just gonna let him. You know, it's kind of hard to control these snakes when you have two at the same time. Both hands are covered up. But like I said, this is a little guy. And I'm actually gonna go on ahead and send him back into the river so we can take a look at the big guy. So we'll send you on your way. You're lucky, contestant number one. You're gonna go back. Oh gosh, he said, don't touch me. Chill. Okay, so now here is a full grown adult Midland water snake. You can see he's got those beautiful patterns that we always talk about, those burgundy kind of dark brick red bands on the side. Got the beautiful tummy, look at that. So pretty, oh my goodness. I wish that my belly looked like this. Right? You know, if I ever get the crazy idea to get like a full belly tattoo, I'm probably, <laughs> I'm probably gonna go for this. <laughs> Wouldn't that be cool? Please don't do that. You wouldn't love me with the Midland, <laughs> with the Midland Water Snake belly tattoo. Well, hey, if any of y'all out there are hard call, hardcore tattooists, um, y'all should consider getting a water snake pattern on your tummy. Oh yeah. That'd be really cool. But this guy's about two and a half feet long. He's healthy. He's showing this is a really, really healthy ecosystem. There's tons of tadpoles and fish for this guy to eat. So with that, we're gonna send him back on his way. I've got a few bites to show for my little capture, a but we'll, 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 we'll just rinse them off here in the creek and get it all taken care of. Okay, big guy, you ready to go? He said, yes, let go of me right now. <laughs> go that way. There he goes. Well, he's going underneath the boat. Pop, under pop, the up. boat. Oh. Hello. He said, hello. Hi. He said, I want to come back with you, Jay. Oh, you want me to catch you? <laughs> he Sorry, said, no. I should have caught you. Oh, that's so cool. Look at him go. All right guys, so we've been looking for a spot like this for a while to pull off and take a break and do some swimming. So we got ourselves a nice big swimming hole out here in front of us and we have this big bluff wall formation. We might be able to even jump from it. I don't know exactly, but we're also gonna take a break and eat some lunch. But first, as we were pulling over this deep water, I noticed a bunch of big fish swimming around down there, like yeah. big gar, big red horse, a couple of big smallies. So what I have, I brought, I came prepared. <laughs> I brought me a little pair of goggles and I'm gonna take the GoPro down there and I'm gonna see if I can snorkel with these big fish. And then we're gonna climb up here, I think, it's a nice little ledge, you can't tell from right, from right here, but there's a nice ledge up there and we're actually gonna sit there and eat our lunch. I think it'll be fun, don't mm -hmm. you? Oh yeah. Okay, I know I just said we were about to go out there and do some swimming, but I figured, you know, before we go there and kind of disturb the fish, it might be best to throw our drop shots down there in the deep water and see if we can actually hook one. There's a lot of traffic coming through here right now, a lot of boats, there's dogs swimming out here. Um, <laughs> but, you know, there's a chance we can catch one. You're definitely chilling. It's like the deepest hole we've pulled up to so far. So we'll make a few casts just to make sure that we aren't missing out on an opportunity to catch a big one. There he is. You gotta be kidding me. You got him? Oh, it's a good one, Jay. Good one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> flip, him, flip him over the boat. Oh, oh gosh. he's fighting, he's so, fighting hard. so hard. Oh my gosh. Stay in front of the camera, Jay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's a good one. Over the boat, in the boat. <laughs> yes. <laughs> my very first cast out there. Jay, that is an awesome sized fish. I know, it's the biggest one for me so far today. I think it's the biggest one period today. Oh, is it? He's definitely chunkier than the ones I caught. And I think he's, you know, maybe the same length, but he seems bigger, so that's awesome. That was a really good bite too. Like, yeah, you were just saying we should go fishing before we go swimming, and I'm so glad we did because we might not have caught this fish. I mean, might have spooked him, but yeah, yeah that's a beautiful fish. Fell victim to the drop shot. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna cast there a few more times so we catch another one. Oh yeah, this is a really nice pool. What's he gonna do? Had to find his bearings first. Oh, he's gonna hit by me. your feet. He's right by between my feet. <laughs> Look at him. He's right there in the middle. Go. Oh, no, he's by me. <laughs> he said, I love you, Jay. Thank you for catching me. Oh, anytime, buddy. <laughs> give him a little, give him a little kick. Give him a little. Come on, buddy. Come on. A little nudge. He said, but no, I like you guys. You guys are cool. Go out in the deep water. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. Let's catch another one. All right, so we did go swimming. It was very brief. <laughs> Um, I had those goggles on, they didn't work out. I couldn't really see in the water at all. Uh, they're mirrored and it's just not bright enough out here and the water isn't quite clear enough. It's kind of got a greenish blue tint to it so I literally couldn't see anything with those goggles on which is unfortunate because there was some good fish down there but honestly it's just a little bit too murky. But there might be a spot downstream that might be a little bit more clear but... Well at least you look cute. Hey, thanks. <laughs> Jay likes the goggles. Anyways, we have since hiked up here to this nice bluff. We are covered up. This is a nice spot where you got a nice view of everybody else out here. Say hi, everybody. Hi. <laughs> and um, <laughs> we have got some uh, some subs. 
Yes. Some nice little, I got an Italian Hungry. hero. You got an all American. Yeah. And uh, we're gonna smash these subs and then we are going to hike back down that way and, um, or hike, we're gonna float. We're gonna float back down that way. Hopefully get on some more smallies, but first we gotta recharge yes. these bad boys. I'm starving. I'm not gonna lie guys, these sandwiches are pretty bomb. Mm -hmm. This Italian one is super good. It had like this like pickled, like pepper sauce, something. And it was pretty tasty. It's pretty tasty on there. It's just pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Something that's got me excited is there's actually some folks jumping off at this bluff over here to my right. And um, they're not dying whenever they hit, the, <laughs> whenever they hit. So it means it's safe to go. So that means that I'm definitely gonna hike up there to the top of this bluff <laughs> and jump. I'm, I'm usually the guy that likes to make sure that someone does it before me. Yeah. Make sure there's not any rocks because I don't wanna be the guy that jumps first and lands on a rock. <laughs> but there's been a lot of guys jump over there, so it should be good. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. So I'm eager to hurry up and finish this, this stuff so I can go do some jumping. All right, guys. So as promised, I have found myself at the top of this bluff. I'm actually going to go a little higher. Here's the rock. I'm currently about 30 feet above the water, which is down there. Jay didn't want to follow me out there. She's somewhere out there. Got some guys that just jumped. I'm actually going to climb up a little bit higher to the spot. It's like 45 feet maybe. And we're going to jump and hopefully not strike any rocks on the way down. Probably shouldn't be doing this, but hey, I'm doing it for y'all. So be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hopefully we recover this GoPro whenever I jump. I don't know really what I got myself into. I am way the heck up here. There's the, there's the river. Here I am. Here's my feet. Jay's down there. Jay, am I good? All right, I'm kind of scared, but there's only one way down, and that is to jump. I gotta make sure I'm holding this GoPro. Here we go. In, give me a countdown. <laughs> it's still going. Oh. Guys, this camera was lost at the bottom of the river. Am I mean, what's your name? Rick. Rick. Uh, Rick saved it. I'm not sure if it's actually recording or not, but heck yeah, dude. Guys, this camera, it broke on my gooseneck strap in three pieces as I was floating back up. I thought I had it. I was like, that's sick, but I didn't. But luckily we got it back and all of our fish and stuff back. And Jay's not going to kill me if we get back over here. Whew. That was crazy. That was really crazy. Look at this, guys. Found my doppelganger. This is Zach. He didn't jump off the high spot. He jumped off the a little bit, a little bit lower spot. But I have a feeling he's gonna go up to the top and climb and jump off the high spot now. Shouldn't have trimmed it up the other day. Yeah, dude. Well, I'm kind of trimmed up. Uh, but, anyways, hey, that's me, too, Zach. Me, you. I'm like blown away. He's like, see, he's side by side. Here. Oh my god. <laughs> Y'all look like twins. Long lost so brothers. All right. I can't believe the thing was still recording at the bottom of the river. It was. It'll be interesting yeah. to watch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, what was your name again? Rick. Rick. Yep. You're, you're also known as GoPro Saver and Day, day Maker. <laughs> he went down, Rick went down once and we were in the wrong space. I were in the wrong spot. I was like, oh yeah, we are in the wrong spot. Then he went back down and literally grabbed it first drop, which is super surprising considering it's kind of a deep hole in current, but hey, you got some mad skills that I wish I had. <laughs> yeah, the magic goggles led you right to him. So anyways, big props to Rick for saving the show and the GoPro. Now we got to get down the river and hopefully find some more smallies. That's a good one, Jay. That's a good one, isn't it? Good job, Jay. He's not that little. He's not as big as I thought he was gonna be. It's been a while since we caught a fish. It really has. It's been 
I don't know how long. How I mean, long you think? I think about 45 minutes. But we've been in some kind of some water that hasn't been that great for fishing. It's been kind of shallow, but we finally got in this nice little pool here with some shade and some chunk rock. And right on cue, we got ourselves another nice little smallie. Not a monster, <laughs> but not super tiny. No. He definitely, he definitely fought good, it looked yeah, like. Yeah, he did. Yeah, I thought he was going to be bigger than this, but hey, I'll take it. Yeah, we're still looking for one a little bit bigger than that, but hey, maybe it's a good sign that we're about to start catching some. This pool looks pretty big, and if you look down here, we got some bluffs. Looks like it'd be a steep bank, and yeah. hopefully there'll be a big one chilling there, or somewhere between here and there. But I guess go ahead and let that one go. All right, see? So oh, gosh. Yep, he said I'm good. Okay. <laughs> now we're about on the drop shot? Yeah. All right, well, let's keep throwing that drop shot around up here, and hopefully we'll snag us another one. Sounds good. Or the catfish. Yeah. He'll eat this thing. Oh god, I got him! I got him! Oh my gosh! That is a big old catfish. Oh my gosh. I saw that big old catfish sitting by that rock and he ate my Helgramite bait. Oh my oh gosh. My Ooh, hoo, hoo. He's big. Big old catfish. Oh, Ooh. Ooh. oh Ooh. my goodness. Ooh, hoo, hoo. I still got him. I still got him. <laughs> we came here for smallies and I saw a big old catfish in the middle of these rocks sticking his head. I was like, I bet that fish will eat this little Ned bait if I, sh if I put it in front of his face. And he sure enough did. He smoked it. Okay, here he comes. Coming up. We got him. Jay, look at him. Clear water. Oh my goodness. Whoa. Whoa. This is not what I was expecting to catch. That's here a today. big one. Okay, here we go. Bring him up here. Get up here. I got two-handed. Okay. <laughs> there he is. Let me get a better hold of him. All right, check that out. So we were just drifting by this bluff, and I noticed a big fish sticking its head out from underneath the rock. I was like, what is that? Is that a big smallie? And I noticed the whiskers. Like, oh my gosh, it's a catfish. And it's probably guarding a nest. Um, these catfish spawn this time of year on these rocks. And I had this little Ned Helgramite lure, and I pitched it out there in front of him a couple of times. And finally, he saw it, and he just smashed it. Was not expecting to catch fish out here like this on the river. We're mainly chasing after smallies, but this is a very welcome sight out here. And it, I would lip him, but the first time I lipped him, he bit my thumb super Ooh. hard. So I'm trying to not have to lip him. Actually, I have, I got the idea, guys. I know what we need to do. Looky here. There we go. Now you got now him. Now we got him. Now we got the grippers on. I forgot I had those, but that is a nice sized channel catfish. Definitely the biggest one I've ever caught out here. Let me get him on my hook and give him some water for a second. And then I have a scale too, I think, so we can weigh him and see how big he is. What do you think, five pounds? Yeah, I'd say five. All right, we gave our buddy a drink. Got this official scale here. Let's hook him onto it. Let's see how big he is. Right on the money, five pounds and six ounces. Oh, nice. Definitely a nice size channel catfish. Definitely unexpected, but like I said, very well welcomed. Let's let this guy go and let's hopefully catch a smallmouth this big. That would be <laughs> well, incredible. That'd be crazy. <laughs> <laughs> He's not biting me currently, so I better give him the water before he chomps down on my thumb like he did earlier. All right. Man, this fish looks so cool in this clear water. Oh, yeah. Ready to go? I'm just gonna let go of him. And there he goes. Whoa. Oh, slug, he's going underneath the boat. Where's he at? Where's he at? Where's he gonna go? Where did he go? I don't know. He's just chilling underneath our boat, I think. I wanna see him. None of these fish wanna leave us today. There right, we go. There he is. There he goes. There he goes. He's heading back over to his rock. I probably should have let him go over there, but he'll probably find a spot. Yeah. Man, that was crazy. And he bit my thumb so hard. I was bleeding a lot for a second, but it all went away. <sighs> Let's get back after and help him catch a big smallie. That was awesome. <laughs> fish. Decent one. Oh, yeah, Decent one. Oh, there's two. There's two, Jake. Drop it down there. Drop it down there. Just drop it straight down. Drop it. Drop it. Just drop it. Just drop it. Just drop it. Just drop it. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. You see that fish? I don't know where he went. Okay. okay, I'm gonna get this one. Man. Oh, he's a good one. Look at him fight, guys. They are so cool fighting in this clear water. It's been a grind, but I think this is gonna be our biggest one so far. Okay, I'm gonna quit messing around. Get him in the boat. Yes. 
All right, I think that's my first fish catch since I caught that last catfish. And that is my biggest smallmouth of the day. Not an absolute giant Buffalo River smallie that I'm looking for, but a really nice one though. He's probably 15 inches long and skinny. And uh, he's got this drop shot just pegged right in the roof of his mouth. He wasn't coming off, even if he tried to. I don't even know if I can get him unhooked. He took so good. There we go. Unhooked. Little drop shot did it to him. We're in a nice little shoal area. It's a little bit deeper here with some good chunk rock. It's kind of been um, really key to us catching fish anytime we got in this little bit deeper water. Um, that's moving with some big rock. We pretty much always caught a smallie, but that's a good one. Let's go ahead and send him back and keep fishing. That's a fish. That's a good one. Keep fighting him, Jay. Keep fighting him, JJ. That's a good one, isn't it? You got it, Jay. You got it, Jay. I'm rolling my bait in. Oh, God. Oh, God. That's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, that's a nice fish, Jay. Come on, baby. That is Come a on, nice baby. one. Oh, gosh. Get out from under that rock. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Did I swing him? Oh, gosh. Oh, Get out from under that nope. rock. You got him, Jay. Oh, gosh. You got him, Jay. Oh, gosh. Come here, buddy. Oh, my gosh. He's going all under these rocks. Oh, yeah. Keep your rod up. Lip. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. All right, guys, check it out. We have the biggest smallmouth of the day. That is so exciting. This fish fought so hard. Oh he my kept, goodness. He kept pulling you underneath every single rock yes. out here. My line was still in the water. It got hung up underneath the rock and broke off. And it doesn't matter because we got this fish in the boat. That is the fish that we've been after this whole time. And it's a solid, like, two and a quarter pounder or so. Beautiful. Thick, healthy, beautiful small Kelly. bass. And in the perfect spot, too. Another one of these spots we're talking about. Deep run, big rocks, steep bank, and a big old smallie. <laughs> that is awesome. Love it. Gotta love it. I don't know if we were ever going to get one this big I know. today. There's so much boat traffic out here today. And this particular stretch of the river sometimes can be difficult. But what a relief it is to have finally got a nice one. I know. I was so scared I was going to lose it. <laughs> yeah, but we really want to show you guys what this river is made of. That is a oh, good yeah. one. So nice. All right, we're going to send this beautiful fish back. Get even bigger. There she goes. Hey, good job, Jay. <laughs> Let's get awesome. some more. 